Let me, I gotta ask y'all what everybody wants to know. Okay. Talk about crawfish, talk about the build. How was it built? Yeah. Why it messed up? Or what messed up? Yeah. What messed up? Yeah. What, what I'll say, bro, is uh, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to talk about crawfish right now. Yeah. But the way I see things is a little bit different. Um, I look at the positive. You know, we, we come together, we built one of the most iconic trucks. Oh, yeah, the truck scene. Yeah. What's up with the whole thing with the LS1 head? So I will tell you this. I was never going to address it, bro. And again, it goes back to I'm not trying to be a hater. Yeah. I'm not trying to bring up no drama. Yeah. I'm not trying to start no drama with those guys or with anybody yeah. for that matter. I, and I'll be honest with you, too. I never even watched their video when I talked about the heads. Yeah. This is what I will say. I said it a minute ago. Welcome back to Go Hard Podcast. I'm your host, Noel, as usual. I'm your co-host, Social Team Billis. Hey, man, we got another very special guest for you today, all Boom. the way from Pasadena. Boom. Boom. Pasadena motherfuckers. Hey, hold on. I think they're the fastest. They got, you know, oh. some fast trucks, man. Oh, they got some That's fast That's why we came to Pasadena Speed Shop. They're heavy hitters. I'm sure y'all seen them on YouTube. Man, let's give it up for Pasadena Speed Shop, man. <laughs> man, let's go, man. Tell us a little bit about your background, Adrian and Roy. What's up, guys? It's Adrian, Pasadena Speed Shop. What's up, guys? My name's Roy, Pasadena Speed Shop. And uh, we're the two owners of Pasadena Speed, of Pasadena Speed Shop. Ooh. Ooh. But, but I want to address something real quick, guys, an introduction. You said earlier you think we're the fastest. Ooh. Nah, bro. <laughs> Let's get it straight. Let's stop the music. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Stop capping. No, I don't even remember what you said. Exactly. So what do you think? What is your, what is, uh, what's on your mind right now when I said that? No, no, I, I say jokingly, half-heartedly jokingly, but, uh, man, bro, we got a lot of world records, bro, that haven't been touched yet. Yeah, yeah. You know, we set a lot of records. Heavy hitters? We definitely, definitely, definitely. He heavy hitters in Houston or the States or, like, the U.S.? Uh, records? So, yeah, we got world records. World. Like, of the universe. What? Of what? Uh, we ha well, we have, a uh, we have the quarter mile fastest. We have, we, Full well, size, right? You know what? Let's go back. Let's back up a little bit. But uh, we did have, we used to have the LS full size record. It just got beat recently. Well, a couple years, uh, about six months ago. About a year the ago. Guy, the guy beat it by a little bit. Um, we did have What's the, a little oh, bit? He, we went a 691. He went a 687 in the quarter mile. Nine or something like that. 89. And who's that? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a red OBS out of. I think he's out of Kentucky up like there. Somewhere up on the really? west coast. On yeah, the east coast. east coast. Yeah, on the east coast. Yeah, he broke it in Maryland. Yeah. yeah actually, yeah. Um, what's the name of that race? Uh, World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah. World, World Cup. Cup. Damn. Yeah, so uh, we had that one. The We did have the Lee Spring record. Well, actually, the truck still has the crackhead. The crackhead truck had the LS full-size. Well, it's a Leaf Spring record. It had it. Um, and then also the 4x4. Oh, actually, we're the only 4x4 in Texas to run sevens in the quarter mile. Damn. Fact. What's today's date? Chevy or Ford? Any in Texas. Oh, any? The Both only, anywhere, bro. The only, well, that one guy, Miss oh, Misery. Oh, yeah, Miss Misery. Misery. Yeah, he's he in has a class the of his own. But in Texas, today's September 15, 2023. We got the only 4x4 truck in Texas to go sevens in the quarter mile. And that's Damn. Gremlin. Shout out to Gremlin. Damn. Shout out to Gremlin. Shout out to yeah. We're going to talk about more about them. Huge shout out to Pasadena Speed Shot, man. We're in the shop right now, as you can tell. They got... This one in the background, crazy build, another crazy build. Man, it's an honor to come on the podcast and speak to these guys. Thank you all again. Yeah, no problem. Um, no problem appreciate the merch. Yeah. Appreciate no, no. the merch. I did buy a Savage sticker to get in the giveaway. Make sure you join the giveaway for Savage, right? Yeah, so we are, right now we have our sa our first ever giveaway. Uh, we're, we're jumping into that market, something we're trying to do more of. So we'll have a few more down the line after this one. But right now, currently, uh, we have the Savage giveaway. Why, why start a giveaway now? Like, what was the plan or, like, a little bit about that? So, so I, I was, as people know, and I'm sure people have seen it, I, I'm real big on business, man. It, it's a business. Everything we do is about the business, about the brand. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of people out there doing the giveaways. And, and if I'm honest with you, bro, the giveaways, the more I got into it, the more I learned about it, it's really a great opportunity for both sides. You know, it's the people that are fans of us. They're going to buy our merch. They're going to buy our shirts. They're going to buy our hats. They're going to buy our stickers. Um, and, and in that, well, we know racing is expensive. 
Yeah. You know, to build a truck, even as Savage, you know, Savage is a stock bottom M53, but it's turbo, fuel system, suspension, drag pack. It's a lot of money. Thirty, forty thousand dollars Yeah. But what we love about the giveaways is I feel like it gets any of our fans that might not be able right now to afford it. Yeah. It gives them a chance to win one of our trucks that we that that are past Dina level type build. Um, so I love the promotion side of it. I love the marketing side of it. Uh, I, I feel like you give a chance to some people out there. You know, I hope I, you know, it, it's. So you know, since it's a shop, does it come with warranty? Yes. Yes. How much? And, and bro, I stand behind my work. We okay. stand behind. I've always told everybody this. We stand behind our work. So if you win the truck, on the truck, yeah, and that's yeah, actually yeah, his yeah. wife's truck. It was a person. Uh, oh, and, and wow. Right now it's a stock bottom M53, so that's kind of the tricky part to it. Uh, you know, we pushed the trucks. We we pushed it. We saw 30 pounds of boost on that motor. Never had an issue. We're gonna give it away with way less. Up to the the new owner. You don't ever know. You know, eight nine hundred horsepower in a street truck. Not anybody's just ready for that. Yeah. So we're probably gonna give it away around five, six hundred, and, and then depending on the new owner. But uh, but no, guys, anything we give away, we stand behind our work. Uh, we put it through the ringer. We beat on them. We race them. That truck been raced. Um, and, and that's kind of the fear. That's kind of the fear for us. You know, when we kind of got into the performance giveaways, I feel like no one's really doing the performance side of it. And this might be minor to y'all. Yeah. But it's big to. It's big no. to everybody else. Everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, for sure. And, and you know, it, and it's funny you say that because one of the things, you know, when we came on this podcast, and, and you know what, I want to tell you two things, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out, guys. Uh, I, I think I've always told people this, and it's a joke that we always say. Past in a speed shop, a lot of people think it's some big brand, some big company, some big money backing us up. Yeah. I always tell people, my joke is we're just two dumb Mexicans, bro, and <laughs> we love to do this. Yeah. Now, I, I say that, and it's funny, but it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. It's the truth, but, but, Guys, we started there, man. Yeah, yeah. We started. When we started this, you know, we, we had stock bottom end trucks. that, And that's trucks, man. Actually, if you go back to trucks, everybody that started got a truck racing is because you didn't have the money. But, but uh, we all started off at that level. Um, and that's why I want to give it away with a lot less horsepower. And then the person that wins it, you're going to have, the, you're gonna have the, the, the ability yourself. If you want to turn it up, you can. Or we're also doing a $15,000 cash option. Damn. So, it, it, and again, it's, it's not everybody wants a truck. Not everybody wants a turbo truck. Not everybody even needs a truck. But if you were a fan of mine. $15,000 is $15,000. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Loki, that would be kind of like, hey, I can, I can finally keep my wife's truck. You know, take care of Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she don't want it no more. She got a four-wheel drive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, we're okay. putting another one for her. Yeah, and, and that's what it is. And really for us, it's we have the truck. We use it. We have a lot of fun with it. But uh, we're building, Lene, a new truck, 4x4 truck for the street. Um, and, and that truck, we don't really need it. So it kind of worked out perfect for us to get into it, the giveaways. Um, and we're excited, man. Yeah. Tell us about your truck background, racing background. You can start off with uh, you, Adrian, then Roy. So my background is, is a little bit tricky. Uh, I think a lot of people don't really know my history. Uh, and it's funny. Well, lay it out. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh, it's funny because before we opened Pasadena Speed Shop, <laughs> Before we opened Pasadena Speed Shop, man, I was I was I was real private. I was real. I had my truck. I've been building my truck about ten years. Yeah. I went uh, eight nineties in my truck. It was a cut. He don't want to yeah. say it. He was. Lucky had the Edgar haircut. I was I was a low key cut. Low key cut. Sleeper. But uh, so you were cut before the cut. So yeah. So actually, my truck, I used it for work. I put two hundred and seventy five thousand miles on the truck. It was my work truck, and now I decided to make it into my toy. Damn. So then we started converting it. Uh, about 10 years ago, I kind of got into it. And what truck was that? It was my, it's an 01 Silverado. I have a, I'll give you all a picture. I have a picture in my office of it. It was the Patrona. What Patrona. You call it? Yeah, Patrona. Patrona. My truck called Patrona, yeah. It was nitrous back then. We went turbo on it. Uh, and then my dumb, it was a street truck. We decided to make it into a race truck. And I think still parked in the back, still getting into a race truck. Yeah. <laughs> it's back never there. With it. Yeah, I never finished it. I regret it. Man, I regret so bad. A lot of parts missing? Oh yeah, we ain't got. We got a roller. I got a roller on it. Yeah, Is it in this truck out of that one? Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're probably swapping parts and stuff. Dude. Yeah. So, uh, but but no. I, so that it was. I was more like behind the scenes. I didn't really come out too much. Me and Roy met through that process mm -hmm. uh, of building my truck. That's how I met Roy, uh, and we just started traveling, and it worked out real good though. Because I'll tell y'all, even back then, guys, I never really cared to drive. I, I know people think it's weird. A lot of people play this argument of. Oh, well, it's dumb to build a truck and let somebody else drive it. Nah, bro, it's my money. That's yeah. my truck. 
I could decide what I want to do with my truck. Yeah. But so now I kind of I kind of have a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a bone to pick with some of them people that think that. And it's cool. It's you can build whatever you want with your truck. But um, man, when I was building my truck, me and Roy met. If y'all know Roy, he could drive. He can. He yeah. can drive. He's a driving dude. Um, I had a lot of fun just sitting there watching my truck. I love the science of racing. I love the the challenge of 60 foot and 330 and ET and you know mile per hour. And I love the science of it more. And Roy loved driving. So yeah. it actually was we we more started the Pasadena Speed Shop got started kind of yin and yang. Yeah, it works out, man. It was a good chemistry, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's what I noticed, especially with racers. They're the ones with really quiet ones, but they show what they like. You know, they show their work when they race. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to. And so to me, it's it's. We did that. We started building the truck. It worked really good. It was real fast. We had a lot of fun with it. And we said, "Fuck it, dude. Let's try our own thing. Let's try it." And then we kind of jumped into it. And and when we started passing in the speed shop, as y'all can see. My boy don't talk a lot. I knew I had to talk. Yeah. I had to be. <laughs> You're talking too much. So hold on. Roy, we know we know you and OG Burn. in the game. Yes, sir. Right? We know you OG in the game. I know. You know my dad. You know what I'm saying? Talk about your background. I know you've been driving. And remember you had to, there was a point in time they're like, where's his truck? Where is it? You know what I'm saying? That yeah, was yeah, like yeah, 2014-ish yeah. or something. Yeah, it all started. And you were like, where's your truck at? You, what, you racing everybody's truck. There was a beef going on. Remember? A yeah, lot of I remember a little bit, yeah. All right, so tell us how you got into it. Into the racing stuff? Yeah, and the racing, the building the trucks and everything. It's crazy because uh, when, when I live with my parents, and across the street, there was the it was the guys from uh, Lito Performance. Yeah. And they were always hanging out in front of my house. And go to the meets, the racing. Back then, I get, I think, like the truck meets were real big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, we just, I just started hanging around with them, and just started going on from there. I started driving real, real race cars, trucks for Juan, Juan's Transmissions. That's when it all started. And he That's gave me the one. opportunity. We started driving. Shout out to Juan. Yeah, shout, shout out to Juan's yeah. Transmission. That's what it all started. Reality. Yeah. That's what it all started. And then from there, of course, with Flaco. Work you worked with Flacco. Worked yeah. with Flacco for a little while. We traveled. Shout out to Flacco. The street all off stuff. Shout out to Flacco, man. <laughs> the no then, prep uh, stuff. Did a lot of the no prep. We did a lot of the, the no prep. And drive for different customers. I think it was before. I think it was the race tech guys yeah. back there in Bronzeville. Drove for them for a long time. And then um, I worked for Spike for a while too. Really? I did, a, I did for about two years before I opened this. We we I worked for Spike. And I didn't then, know that. Uh, yeah, I worked for Spike, and then I did a lot of the driving for him too. Do the the Houston side of it for him. And then after that, me and a I met Adrian, and we opened this thing up. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Since it's a, a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while. How do you feel when you're, at the, when you're staging, you're on the button, and you're bumping? How do you feel and you let go, boom? How does that feel when you're going down the, the quarter eighth of a mile? Because you've been driving, Wade, like a long time. Uh -huh. And everybody trusts you with their truck. It, you know, you hundred thousand dollar trucks, and they're like, no, they "Hey, don't trust me." Oh. <laughs> I think I think they trust you. This is not that stupid. Hey, I think they trust you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So they give you the keys. Hey, dale. You know, like go race it. I mean, I I can't explain the the feeling. I mean, to me, I, I, it's already normal, but um, I mean, it's a it's an adrenaline, an yeah. adrenaline going down the track. Yeah. So nervous, you don't get it all. Not no more? Or? Uh, I mean, you get nervous always. Yeah. Bubbly I mean, guts? A couple years back, I did flip over on Juan's truck. Really? Yeah, I wrecked it. It was in San Antonio, right? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, we, I mean, the, the wreck was real bad. It was a real bad wreck. What happened? Uh, we were going for a... Uh, we were racing. Uh, it was a class. I forgot what it was, what class it was. And uh, the parachute didn't deploy, and we didn't have no brakes. <sighs> going about Damn. 180. Damn. Uh, hit the wall at the end. Well, he, ran, it he over. ran into the... Yeah, we ran into the sand pit, I guess, whatever. Yeah, yeah. In San Antonio, I remember what it was. Flipped over. I mean, we walked out without a scratch. Yeah, I remember that. And the truck? You know, Pasadena don't play. The truck, the truck didn't make it no more. No, the truck was totaled. Actually, Juan's building that blue truck. The blue truck that Juan's building right now, that's the replacement of, of the black truck. Damn. From my understanding. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. But it, so, like, it didn't, nothing worked? Like, you had a brake failure or just a parachute failure? You no, know, it was parachute and brake failure. Wow. It was both. So, it was a grandma for your life. Damn. So, so what did you like? You had instincts right away, or yes, I mean the experience came in in hand. I mean survival instincts. I mean we tried slowing it down. I'm, it was a three speed, so you drop the gears down. And then I remember I, um, I remember I threw it in. I think it was reverse, and I had grabbed the trans brake 
or it was first, I don't remember. But I got the transfer and then the transmission broke and then I threw it in, in park. It broke yeah. and it, at, at the end they told me we slowed it down all the way to about a 90 miles per hour. Oh. Uh, we slowed it down still, about 100. Still a wow. big impact, I hit the wall about 80, 90 miles per hour around there. That's what they told me. Damn. Damn. So, but the cage, the chassis, everything did its job. The seat, the seat belts, my helmet, my suit. Who built the, who built the cage? Uh, Gion, Gion built it. G Man, I think G Man Racecraft. They you built saved it. Gion. You saved. Shout out to, shout out to them, man. Saved my life. I give yeah. them that. Hey, that's a that's a marketing oh, right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't want to die, go to him. All right. Yeah. <laughs> In the race. You know? no, 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 no. I want all the craziest part of all of it. What's up? The ne- that was a Saturday? Yeah, Sunday we were racing. The next day I was racing. Oh, my wow. He's in a oh, truck in at H&P, sure. wanting to race. Yeah. That was amazing. with my wife. We were at the race track with my wife. Oh, yeah. Savage. I, to drive, yeah. Actually, it was Savage. We were out there racing. That's yes, crazy. So you had to break it. Like, I got to go. Like, no, no, no. I mean, it was like, in no, reality. No, no, no. I'm saying you had to, like, break the mindset of, like, you crashing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, I got to go race because if I don't, it's gonna, I'm going to put it off and put it off and put it off. No, actually, I didn't even think about it, bro. Oh, gotcha. Damn. Actually, after the wreck, they took me back to the, I guess, our little pit. Yeah. I was ready to get back in. Let's go. Like it was, it, the, the race truck actually saved my life. It was real. It did its job. That's crazy, bro. That's I walked good. Out without that's, a, without a awesome. scratch. And it was. And when we talk about the truck being. It rolled. It rolled over. I mean, the truck. It was. The, the truck itself was. It was totaled. No, nothing the, safe. The, nothing safe. Like the engine. Yeah, maybe, I think the motor. Maybe the motor. Actually, the motor is in a. The motor's still running. Yeah, the, the motor's motor still running. Yeah. But the chassis, the whole truck is. It was. Yeah. Were you, were you yeah, flipping over? Do you do you remember when you were flipping? Like, do you have the memory or it was just? I don't remember like no now? more. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, you but think, did you see it? Like you, like when it oh, happened, yeah, yeah. you. I feel like you just be like, just levitating, like you know what. When I see the blue, I remember I was. It was either going for the, what is it? The, the uh, water barricades? No, oh, no, no it was the tent. Not the tent. The fucking net. The net. Oh, yeah, San Antonio has a net. They don't have a sand pit. It's a no, net. Oh, a net. So either you go for sand pit or I hit, I seen the blue barrels of water. So my mentality was I hit the blue barrels of water and then just hit the field because there's a you have hundreds of acres of yeah. field, but I didn't know behind the water barriers there was concrete barriers. Mm. Ooh, that's what flipped me over. Yes, wow. sir. Damn. That's crazy. And how long? How many years you been driving? Shit, I've been driving since I was probably 20 years old, 19, 18 years old. I remember I started driving for once. So I was like 18 years old. No, no, we don't want to know your age. Oh no, no we don't know how, how long, long you've been, been driving. driving. From 18 to 35, so like say 40. 15 years. Oh, 15. Yeah, racing. I've been racing about 15, 20 years. Damn, wow, damn. that's crazy. That's it's nice. Crazy. So I told you guys, OG in the game. He's right here on the podcast. So if he's he if he trees though, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> that's why. That's no, why. Man, I ain't that good. I ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's, he's good. He's good. He's that good. Nah, nah. You still race like. Well, I guess well, yeah, you do, right? You still race yeah, for yeah. other people's trucks and stuff like that. Only yeah, yeah. like only in the shop or other people's like other people's. Nah, shops? mostly builds I build now. Yeah, yeah. You test them, right? And we're so busy. There's so many builds nowadays that we have that. Back he, then it was uh, only handful. Now it's a lot that my wife started driving. Yeah. And then Ruben drives too. I mean, it just nowadays most of the customers like to drive. Back yeah. then, a lot of people didn't like to drive. Yeah. We'll see. And talk about the tuners, like do y'all remember, like when y'all first started, you know? You yeah. know that I know there was Flacco. He was in the game, right? Yeah, Flacco definitely one of the OGs. Which was your first truck? Uh, G Force, well, right? No. Well, the very first time, yeah, I built my truck. I took it to G Force. I bought a truck that was running and driving. I was supposed to have a 408. I swapped it into my truck. Took it to G Force. Motherfucker started knocking on the dynos. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> took it out of there. Uh, but then after that, I think I went to uh, well back then it was D3. Remember Pro? Now they're Pro, Pro Speed. Speed. Pro Speed. Chris Delgado to yeah. my truck at one point. They've been around for a long time. Uh, then I when I, I got I got cool with Flaco, so then Flaco started tuning our stuff. I well, think like Spike's there's, been there's, around. There's, there's oh, a Spike, lot, a lot of tuners. There's Spike, like, uh, I'm talking about that tune yard trucks. Oh, oh most of it was only Flaco. Really? Back yeah. then it was only Flaco. Yeah, Flaco and now, uh, for like all the race stuff, Flaco still does them, and our like more street stuff, Caesar does it. Yeah, from uh, Horsepower Factory. Horsepower, yeah, horsepower Factory. Factory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also yeah. Uh, Caesar's brother, oh Ricky. Ricky also does some tuning for it. And well, I say that man, like. We have a lot of different people, man. Because like my truck, when I had my Ford, Lund tuned for us. You know what I mean? We had a, one of our buddies had a vet that we worked on. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck tuned it. Chuck. G-Force. Yeah. yeah. G-Force tunes, you know, some of our friends. So, man. We just keep everybody busy. Yeah. yeah. We just have way too much work. That- so, what's a build you would take to Flacco that, let's say it's high horsepower. Like, what number? If it surpassed this number, oh, we're taking a Flacco. Is there a number? Not- like. It's, it's not... Well, like, for more, example... More you take, you take, race truck. You take, like it's a, a full-blown race truck. So you take Flaco, a 2,000-horsepower truck. Yeah. yeah. And then Caesar, like, a 1,000. Yeah, more of the street stuff for street. Caesar. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. And, and I'll say this, like, isn't it wrong? Like, like and I tell people, they're like... They're both good. It's they're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caesar yeah. could tune our race trucks yeah. 
and Flaco could tune our street trucks. But I, I'm a person where, and one of the things that when we have passed in the speed shop, we believe, my belief is, is bro, I want to go to the best, more who specializes. Yeah. And Caesar does, do so many street trucks. Oh, yeah, 85, for sure. yep, yep. stock bottom. Bro, that dude makes more, more like power. like daily driver deal. Dude, yeah. Caesar makes so much power, stock bottom in, you know what I mean? Like stock ECUs. And nothing bad, but Flacco, dude, they do race. He races LS. That makes sense. Twin though. Turbo, yeah, yeah, M1. Sense, yeah. Not only that, Flacco also, he, he could tell you yourself, he picks and chooses who he wants to mess with. And so oh, yeah. He's like, hey, I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just, Some of the it's news. Shit. Take it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he said it he whenever he said it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Flacco's like a gem, man. It's kind of hard to get. If you want to get a truck. Is that tuned by him? You gotta wow. get the truck right. Yeah, or no, know, or know him, like. Or know him, and yeah. Know him, like, and we're really fortunate. I mean, we're fortunate that. Known him yeah, man, it's, we've known Flaco for a very long time. He's tuned so much stuff for us. He's helped us out. He's he's mentored us. He's advi yeah. it's like a lot of what we've done. And, and I will say, we've broke a lot of records. We've set a lot of records. A lot of that's been with Flaco's help. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I've always say, hey, we could build anything. Why? Because I know how Flaco could tune anything. Mm. So Actually, I, all the records were broken. It's been tuned by Flaco. Gremlin was too much Flaco. Yeah. And then we broke the 775. Yeah, well, we went, seven, yeah. The Flaco don't mess around. Spring 770s and Crackhead. It, all of them have been too much Flaco. Yeah, it was too much Flaco. Yeah, and the early's, the early's our six second truck. Flaco tunes it. So it, it's it's a. He's been a big part of the build. Yeah, all yeah. the builds. So, guys, we're going to talk about the shop later, but we're going to touch more on them. What are your personal vehicles now? If you could talk about yours and then. <laughs> yours. Uh, daily driver? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to hear Adrian. I want to hear Adrian. <laughs> so, 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 shout out to Buick, man. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Like, so, so, I will tell you. One so you of the have things, personal builds. Well, well, we did have more. The last couple of years, I will tell you, man. The last couple of years, and talk about my truck. I go back to my truck out okay. there. Uh, same thing with Savage. Our personal builds guys are always on the background. They're on the back burner. We don't have time for our builds. Mm. We, we don't even have time to keep up with the builds that we got. And that we didn't get to show y'all the back of our shop. But we got months and months of backlog of work, you know. So it's we got brand new builds that are waiting to get built. We got trucks that are getting built, and we got trucks that have already been built, but we're racing them now. So it's it's man, dude, we don't have time. We have our shop truck, which is our twin. What year is that? Ninety. What? Uh, uh, oh, Sancho, it's a ninety-one. Ninety-one OBS twin turbo. Right now, it's at the chassis shop, getting ladder bars put on there. It makes about. 13, 1400 about horsepower, 1, about, about 15. 1, okay, yeah, we went like low 520s in it. It'll probably run. What chassis it, shop is it? At? Uh, that one right now is at a uh, straight line performance down in Corpus. My boy Jason. Shout out to him. Uh, yeah, we have that one. Um, we also have said his wife's. So we had Savage. Well, Savage Sa is going Savage, away. Savage, yeah, we're gonna so give it away. The four wheel drive replacement. Yeah, the four wheel drive replacement. But I just tell you, like lately, uh, the last couple of years we have been real busy. But this year we do have. The mindset of we want to go after like we want to push more of our builds uh kind of do it our way we get to race on our on our uh terms. on our terms we want to race more on our terms and on your expense uh, too yeah definitely <laughs> definitely man <laughs> i mean it, it's definitely part of that but uh but it's hard too when you got so much demand yeah, demand the yeah. demand is just so high like it's what do you do do you go and make money or do you go and spend your money and i'll be honest with y'all hey bro some of our customers they got way more money than us. Like, that's just the truth of it. Like, I'm just going to be, we're just going to be honest about it. And and so, you know, they want us, they want Roy to drive. Yeah. You know, I, and, and so, yeah, we, our personal stuff, we don't quite have. I got to ask you, Roy, do you charge now to drive? Um, no. No, I don't charge. I mean, what we do, it's like when we build a vehicle. Because I feel like. You're, it's already to the point where, like, man, Roy would drive for me. You know what I'm saying? It's it, like it, it, there is a charge, but it goes in the build. Oh, okay. Like, for example, I mean, I think he's talking about like somebody, if someone else, like a separate. I really don't drive for nobody no more. That separate. Just your builds. I mean, just, just your builds. builds and and what about uh, friends and family. If they were to ask me, I mean, friends and family builds. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. yeah sometimes I will, but it's yeah. just if I'm out there, why not? But as far like if I'm at home and come drive for me, well then yeah, I will. Yeah. I will charge because we, we we there's a fee to go tune. A track, the like track, track assistance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was so yes, Would you drive a lifted truck, 15 inch lift? Oh, la chingada. Every day? No, two would drive. 28. Uh, uh, 28. 28. 28. 50, I don't know how much a 15 inch lift is, but in Georgia, they try to get him to drive that Tweety. You see that, that Tweety, that Tweety truck? Yeah, yeah. They're trying yeah, to get him to drive it. Driving track. Corvettes and all kinds of old schools. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> well, I would drive it down the track. No, nah, would you drive it like on the road? Two would drive, 15 inch lift. No. Uh, no. 
Why? Me neither, like bro. Rough. I like stock better. Hell yeah, I agree. I mean, I drive an F two fifty every day, yeah, yeah. but I don't. I'm not into all that big stuff. I don't like two wheel drives either. I don't like. You know, <laughs> I don't like my. <laughs> I mean, you driving every day in a two wheel drive? Yeah. Uh, I'm not in four wheel drive every day. Nah, I don't drive. He's trying to take a shot. I did try to take a shot, man. We're trying. We, we, need, we need to get down to the. We need sh- to get down to the, the the bottom of what's going on over here. <laughs> we need to interview I y'all. Do, I, know, I do right, drive I a stock two wheel drive Ram, and then I got a two wheel drive lifted truck. But, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. So I, let me ask you this. Sure. So y'all been in, the, you know, y'all y'all grew up in the truck game. How do you think the truck games changed Oof. over the years that y'all been in it? I think the truck game died a lot, bro. That really? was for a while. It died a lot. Before we opened this, yeah, uh, it died a lot. Why? Why do you say that? If you can go Roy, and then you go go after. Mm-hmm. He could explain it better. Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you said I think it died a lot, but yeah, right, it did die a lot. Oh. You didn't have to talk, yeah. dog. No, man, I don't know. I don't. I, I, know. I'll ah. say the same thing. <laughs> I, was, I will say, because I do talk a lot, but I, I will say that uh, man, the truck scene, and I'm gonna tell you guys, the truck scene has changed. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous, bro. How much it's changed. And like Roy said, there was a point in time when we first opened the shop. It was dead, bro. The truck scene, I'll tell y'all, there was like, and I, if you're from Houston, there was Junior PRD that was racing, Juan Razo, Javier with La Cotorra. And, and again, like, Juan's always had his trucks, but there's like the main guy. You go to the Baytown on a Friday night, there's only three guys racing trucks. And, and so when we got the shop, we started pushing, bro. Like, we started. Was that when, it, when, you, when, when 2018. Actually, today is our five year anniversary when we opened the shop. And we pro- I'm proud of that, but but Ooh. no, uh, it's crazy. You had him on the podcast right like today, today, today. today. Damn, what today's day, five I years. I didn't even think about it until you said it earlier. Yeah, uh, really, I thought it was 18th. And it fly- it's flown by. It's like hey, what is not go her anymore is Pasadena Speech Show five year anniversary. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. Sorry, bad, yeah. Thank you, thank you. But uh, Matt, but and it's funny you say that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So one of the that's a really deep conversation. I don't know if y'all want to talk about it. We could just elaborate, up. elaborate it. Yeah. Uh, so the truck scene, and I'm gonna say this: the truck scene, the last in the last year, it has come further than it did the last 20 years. Why? Because the popularity. You know, you have a lot of cameras yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, but I'm saying, why? Why do you think it did that? And what changed? Like, was it trendy? Was it TikTok? Was it YouTubers? Was it um, more? I think it was more of the the. Doing all these little shootouts at the track. So, so, and this is, and it's, it's deep, bro. The thing is that if you have to under, and, and I know you've been in the truck scene, but we've been on the racing side of it. We've seen firsthand. I've seen, we've seen the evolution of trucks. Trucks started off, and I tell people this all the time. Trucks started off because all the working class couldn't afford a Corvette, and everyone realized that the truck has the same motor as a Corvette. You could mm. buy headers for a Corvette, or well, they fit a truck. You buy the intake they made for the Corvette, if it, but even it was, the engine goes in a yeah, truck. Even the engine. Good. But so everybody started, trucks were the working class. And I remember, bro, like when we started the shop, and I feel like we've we've pushed really hard, but trucks were like ricers, bro. They were looked <laughs> down upon. And even yeah. now, oh, the cuz, the, the quaches, yeah. and, and and it's it was, hey, bro, you go to the racetrack, none of the events cared about trucks. Yeah. They were not pushing. There was no truck events. Now, there was the, the shootouts, which that's a little bit different. It's a party yeah. more than the racing. But, man, in the last couple of years, guys, we people don't, I don't know if people understand We've traveled all over Texas, us putting the money up, sponsoring truck classes in Dallas, truck classes in San Antonio, yeah. truck classes at Evadel, truck classes all over the place, and it kind of grew. Um, and I will tell y'all. You want Edinburgh too, huh? Yeah, Edinburgh too. I, I will tell y'all, I, I do believe a lot of it changed recently with the YouTube with okay. the cameras, you know, you got you got the guys, you know, on the gas crew, or you got you got uh, Freddie now racing. You know, you have all these shops, and then YouTube blew up. The trucks have always been big here, but now you get to take what we do, and then you kind of expose it to the world. Yeah, that you is know? true. Because I feel yeah. like on 2018 it was always mostly like street racing. Yeah, and, and, not and back only that there's more money now, bro. Yeah, and there's and not a- everybody anybody could afford this now. They got all these financing companies and the shops. Yeah. And, and so now, I mean, now a regular 18-year-old. Yeah. Like a Snap, oh. a Sema, and all those. <laughs> yeah. But when I'm coming at it now, any regular 18-year-old can afford it now. Yeah. But, but also, on top of that, hey, when we come up, and I'll say with you, I think y'all were around, like, oh, you're a little too young. But, uh, <laughs> you know, baby. But, but a lot of these guys, and I'll say, like, Roy, like me, like you. Yeah. Hey, bro, we were in high school when the truck stuff was coming up. Hey, bro, but we've already grown up now. Yeah. And we're making money now. Yep. And, and yeah. so now it's the passion. And, and I tell people, man, trucks, 
people don't understand the passion that people have. You either love trucks or you hate them, but if you love them, it's all that matters to you. Going all out. Yeah. You, you don't, well, don't care. That. How embarrassing is it when a truck beats a car? Oh, that's oh, a I, know, I know. What's that shirt called? Uh, don't fuck with Texas trucks or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and I tell you, man, like it, oh, it's, when you go to Texas, be careful what truck you pull up to, or something yeah, like something that. Like yeah, don't yeah, pull yeah. up next to those lines. Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I tell you, man, I feel like um, the better quality, the better parts, they look better. You know, they got him faster. So it, 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 I just feel like it's 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 just it's a natural it's the natural progression um, of racing trucks, man. And I, I think this is where we are today and age. You know, it's, and I don't, I'm gonna tell y'all. It ain't going nowhere, man. Yeah. I think it's getting bigger. The truck stuff, dude, is barely on the... This is barely about to break you wide open because... You know, it's crazy that you said, you know, y'all were in it before, but 2008 through Mm 2012-ish, that's when it was, like, coming out, you know, 07, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, it was, like... And then it died after, what, 14? And then for a little bit, then it's, boom, it's going back up. It's like a... The stock market, it goes yeah. doop, 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 doop. I think you know it was I mean? whenever, uh, I think around those times, that's when Flaco had his white truck, when yeah. he went to the street, and then Paco was around. Hey, holler, Paco. And then they, they went away. Well, Paco, they, yeah, was, I don't know what he did, and then Flaco yeah. started getting into real racing, and that's when it died out a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was just like. When he like, got into, like, the real actual race, like, what is it, like, uh, the, in, like, the index? The, and, yeah, the uh, no, heads up. He does heads up racing. Did he do all steel all glass too, or no? No, oh. no, a flag No, no, I don't think his truck's not all steel all glass. No, no, he does was, small tire. He was doing small tire, no small time. tire, yeah, yeah. Pro two seventy five or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying like at that time, like nobody was really popping. You know what yeah. I mean? When he was in the racing, and then 2018, and boom, it just like took. It off. hit hard. That's when we opened 2018. Yeah, we yeah, opened. you opened. I seen you. You opened yeah. in 2018. Yeah, and, I, and I'm telling you, hey guys, you go back and look in 2018. Me and Roy would sit there and I'd be like, Roy, we got to. flew by hauling ass. I about to tell Roy, like, hey, we got to do something, bro. Like, it's dead. Like, what are we going to. And we started doing the little shootouts. Yeah. And, and, but one thing that I will tell you, and I did see the podcast that you did with the RGV, uh, with the, the guys from the RGV. Yeah. I remember those guys. And, and one of the things that he said that's the truth, and a lot of it changed. Bro, back then when we all raced, hey, bro, it was just like, it was just some couple crazy ass Mexicans that had a passion, but it wasn't popular. No, the internet wasn't glued yeah. to the channel watching every single know, race. You win, you lose. Yep. Like, so there was Roy being some drama, but only the people from Pasadena <laughs> knew about it. Only the track, only, only the track knew about you, it. Yeah, if you yeah. were there, you saw it, but if you were not there. The whole th- fucking world knows hey, about hey, it. Hey, <laughs> Roy was in some stuff back then, yeah, too. Uh, it still is. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> it still is. Roy was this. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, my boy, my boy, my boy. And the same way he was. On, t- on TV, guys, he was the same way back then. Yeah, ain't he was nothing in your changed. face and everything. Same thing. The same yeah. mouth. And everything. Same mouth. <laughs> always, getting, always getting us in trouble. But no, I, I tell you, it has changed. Yeah, and I, I do think, but before, like they said too, hey, bro, back, and that's, I'm going to tell y'all, one of the craziest things for us is that, bro, we love trucks. Yeah. Period. If we show up, we'll race anybody. And that's actually, we're like, I'll be honest with y'all, we're dumb racers, bro. Because we'll agree to any race. We don't, we don't know how to say no. We don't know how to say we no. we like to have fun. Mm. Yeah. To be there, and I actually, we'll go into it probably some more. You know, I remember somebody else came on your podcast, and they were like, oh, grudge racing this and grudge racing that. And one thing, we've talked about this. Bro, we're not grudge racers. I will tell you, I will say it, because we're going to say yes to anything. Mm. You know what I'm but saying? If like, you, let me ask you this. Is it a grudge race if you say, hey, look. If you go to somebody's shop and you call them out and you're like, hey, let's run, is that a grudge race or like is? Yes, yes. You call it, it a grudge race. That's how it happens, but yes. Mm. It's, it's called a grudge race. Yeah, you call that a grudge race. But the thing is, is what grudge racing means to you and what grudge racing means to me is two different things. So what is grudge racing? What does it mean to you? Hey, to us, hey, I want the world to know, Pasadena Speed Shop loves to race, period. Mm. It don't matter if it's an index, if it's a bracket, if it, and, and, and we love to race for the race. Yeah. It ain't about, it ain't about, and I tell people, man, and I'm going to tell y'all, like, you asked Roy about how he felt in the seat, and I'm going to tell y'all, he, he's like a robot, bro. It's, it's just natural. It comes natural to him. Yep. But one thing I will tell you is for us is to be there, bro, at the starting line when the whole world is watching. And you know, like, right now when we race them Fords, yeah. hey, bro, the whole world is watching. Hell that's, yeah. that's the one. For I real. don't know if people understand, and I don't think people do. I'm I'm really into I I pay, I'm, I'm like I I, de- I look real deep into shit, but guys, the whole world is watching Houston 
full size truck racing right now. Yep, yep. So when we're there and you got all these cameras and it's all this hype and and you racing for all this money or these classes and and you know it's guys, we just love to be there and racing. Like yeah. being there racing, we're happy. Yeah. You know, it doesn't win or lose doesn't matter to us. Yeah, yeah. But is there a a minimum for grudge racing? I know you just said right now that you grudge race for fun, mm -hmm. right? Is there like a minimum money that you grudge race? We hardly ever do that. We like to race more like if the way we see grudge racing is, I like to run the class. If we, if we, if we draw chips, fuck it, we'll race. Yeah. But as far as like grudging, we really don't like doing it. Yeah, it's not our deal, bro. It's not our there's deal. not a money, there's not a money thing for grudge, like if you, for a call out. It's just, I'm not stupid enough to go fucking bet. Yeah, racing 000, is hard, 5, bro. Racing is hard, man. It's, it's, it's not as consistent. It, and people, and, and I don't know, I don't know. It, it's, grudge racing is different for everybody, man. There's some people out there, bro, that are diehard grudge racers. Yeah. And, and so in they the race. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so in racing, there's two type, they call them type of racers. There's grudge racers and there's class racers. That's what yeah. they call it, class racing. Class, rather it be yeah. small tire, rather it be bracket, rather it be index, yep. whatever. Yeah, we're more class racers. We're class racers. We just want to race, bro. Like, you know, so, man, and again. So you, you race with class. Well, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do. We do. <laughs> and I'm but, class racers. <laughs> yeah, but no, no. And it's, it's, and I tell you, man, like, our, it's really hard for us to talk about grudge racing because that's not our deal, man. Like, and there's some people that they're really good grudge racers, bro. Because the grudge race, man, and I'll tell you this, like, and I'll go back to it. It's about the hustle, bro. Yeah, yeah. The grudge race is about the hustle. Even the money, there's people that, oh, they try to buy a race. Oh, you want to brag about how much money you got. And that to me is, hey, bro, I love to race for the sport of racing. The money, it's irrelevant. It could be $5. It could be $5,000. It could be $50,000. Yeah. But, but we do it for the race. And I think, you know, some people, and I just, I don't know, man, grudge racing, it's just not us. I mean, i just be honest with y'all. We've done it. You know, we've done races, and you talk about going to somebody's shop or calling them out. But I tell you the same thing. Hey, bro, to us, it's not like that. Yeah. To us, we don't view it as... You know, oh, we got something to prove. Oh, we got we don't like those guys. Hey, bro, I got no beef with nobody. Yeah. I got no problems with nobody. We want to race. Yeah, we got and, too, too much. We got too way too many trucks to compete, bro. Yeah. 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 And, and and the thing for us is like, and the way we see it is, you know, we're here in Houston. Everybody, and let's be real, guys. Everybody wants to see us against the Fords. That, yeah. That's what the world wants to see. You know. Yeah, and, you're right. And, and yeah. so for us, and I tell y'all, like, there's an event that happened. With the corn dog and all that stuff. You seen our, yeah. you seen our real we made? Yeah, yeah, that was rewind, good. Rewind, rewind. Everybody wants to see us against the force because we're the only Chevys putting out. Yeah, yeah that's true. We're the only ones There's putting the only them out. There's shops yeah. in Houston that put out a Chevy. Now, there is a lot of shops in Houston that build Chevys, but that race at that level, there's none. Mm. Well, there probably is, but they don't go. Yeah. yeah. That, that's that's so what we're I the only though. ones, so yeah. we're the only target. Yeah, we're the only ones that show. And if we don't show up to me, who are they racing? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we feel, I'll tell y'all, we feel like we have to hold it down for the Chevys. Mm. You know, like, because ain't nobody else that's going to go race those guys. That's oh. willing to go and show up and race those guys. Yeah, I feel like y'all are the shop in Texas that are, like, have the fastest Chevys. In the world. Did you say that? In the, the world? world? In the world. In the world, world Craig. In the world. Both of them. Both of them. In the world. Both in the, the world. Shit. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, man. We have uh, the Chevy stuff. And the Chevy stuff been around for a long time. And, and man, dude, there's... Trucks. The trucks. Right. The truck cars. Yeah. 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 Full size. Full size truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. specific. Yeah. Yeah. LS full LS, size truck. Well, no, and, and look, man. 275. No, no, no. I don't, don't want to be... I don't wanna, we don't want to be cocky. It's not about being cocky. We don't want to be cocky, but but it's... When it comes to full size... LS trucks, yeah. guys, we've put out more volume, more records, more trucks than anybody else out there. Yeah. I got a question. World. Will you guys build a Ford? Yeah. I, I had a Ford. Oh, but you guys will build it? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. For sure. We'll build a Ford. Okay. So you know, we'll definitely build it. comes over here like, hey, man. I'm oh, for sure. We'll build anything. It's Dodge. The same thing, Ford. bro. It's, yeah. it's the same. We work on them. We just don't, uh, how do you say, advertise them as much. Yeah. Yeah, we work on them all the time. Because nah. I was like, you Even you Dodge. Just, you guys' goal is like only Chevys. No, and the, the and race truck side of it is mostly Chevys. Yeah. But I mean, I do get like the daily drivers who install supercharger, colder intake headers. Yeah, we get them. Yeah. Dodge, track hogs. And, like and kind of to emphasize, to give you maybe a little bit better of an answer, we build what comes through our door. You know, right now we have a long list of customers. And as like I told you, when I have my truck, when we're building my truck, 
what happened is, is, dude, we got so overwhelmed with builds. So many people want us to build. And I'll tell you, guys, most of our builds aren't even from Houston. We got builds and we ship them out all over the country. We got, so we got a truck from Qatar that we're about to build for a customer in Qatar. Yeah. And there, that's just the first. And there's multiple trucks that they want to build. That yeah, we the, talked to guys. What was the moonshine truck originally from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh, the, the, yeah. We, moonshine, the original moonshine truck, it was from Pennsylvania. We built it for a customer in Pennsylvania. Never met the guy in person in our lives. Damn. He shipped the sh truck to us. You, we talked to him on the phone, yeah. did the whole build, finished it, and shipped it to him. You and you and uh, Flocka went to Dubai, right? Yeah, we, and, I think it was in 2015. Yeah. Yes, sir. You guys yeah. were talking about the corn dog. How, how's that? Did he actually ate it already or no? <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's, so that's one of my buddies. Uh, corn dog. Oh, like that. The, the, yeah, from yeah. HMP. Yeah, I seen the little reel we made, right? I was yeah, it was earlier. funny. That corn dog was alive the next day. <laughs> <It's still alive. laughs> oh, no, they ate it already. Oh, they ate it. The whole deal about that, his daughter told him, Hey, Dad, I want a corn dog. Bring it with you home tonight. So he got a corn dog, and he and are you serious? Yeah. He was on his way home. He took it home, bro, and the next he put in a Ziploc bag after everything, and Damn, she ate it the next day. I wanted to say this because the poor corn dog, bro, has been more sweat, more spit in that thing because he's like literally pointed at him, and I was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. Like, yeah. She ate, she ate, ate us home the next day to go pick up the because we left the one of the rides there, the trailer, and I'm like, hey, what happened to corn dog? Oh, they ate it already. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know what's yeah, funny? Yeah. I didn't even know H and P sold corn dogs, bro. I didn't know they sold the yeah. long corn dogs. <laughs> yeah, like, I was super long I corn dogs. Hey, bro. <laughs> I told her. I told her. I was like, I seen the the video next to Adrian. What the fuck? You didn't see? I it? didn't even see the corn dog, bro. Yeah. I promised y'all in person when we're sitting there. I didn't even notice, and then I started hearing like corn dog. Like what the fuck? I saw the video. Oh, oh yeah. why, dude. <laughs> Like, why like, is this the sure corn dog, man? Corn dog is sticking in somebody's mouth. Yeah. yeah. That's what he said. Like, what, what's the reason for the corn dog? Like, you just, you know, I don't know, give it to somebody and, like, point it. Or, like, no, it has to be the corn dog on his face. Like, yeah, it was funny. It was, was funny. funny it was yeah. funny. I told, I told Dean, hey, man, we need we need to have uh, free corn dogs for life as popular as we made that corn dog. Man, that's the most yeah. famous corn dog in the world right now, bro. <laughs> so not even Dean, Dean's the owner of H&P, right? Dean is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is the owner of H&P. Yeah. That's Dean. Yeah, shout out to Dean. my boy Dean. Yeah. Shout out to them good corn dogs. Yeah. You know, I haven't I'm, tried actually, one yet. Actually, I want to go to the, the track just to get the corn dog too, bro. Yeah, we got to do that. We're going to gonna reenact it, yeah? Huh? It'll be open tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to react the corn dog. We're going to buy it. I'm going to reenact yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, it was funny. And I tell you, man, like I tell y'all, like, and, and everybody, guys, to us, people think that, like, we're mad or we're angry, we're upset. And to, we laugh, bro. Like, it's funny to us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we see. up the next day, bro. We, we laugh. And, and to us, it's all part of it, you yeah. know. But that shit was, that was funny. I, I'm not going to lie. It was it was funny. The only thing I wish, and I'll tell y'all, like, we YouTube now. We're racers that started YouTubing. But it doesn't ever come to our minds to go and get the camera and record everything. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing I wish, bro. I wish I would have recorded from my YouTube so I could have got some views, too. <laughs> yeah. I could have got some of them views. Yeah. It's, just, it's not us, bro. It's not us, man. Like, we struggle. And I tell y'all, like, these cameras, this whole setup. Um, Hold on. Before new. we go on longer, what do you think about the podcast? What do y'all think about the setup? You know? I, oh, I know no. I watched a couple of Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, I really like what you're doing, bro. I feel like uh, the, the one of the things... Um, about the podcast that I what I appreciate the most what I appreciate the most about the podcast is I think it's just your dedication to bring in the authentic authenticity of it. Yeah. You want to bring some of the original stuff. You always bring up the OGs. I already talked to Flaco, you talked yeah. to RGV. Uh and, and I will tell y'all to me, it's not a truck specific podcast. I'm not sure if you are that way. Yeah, yeah. But you definitely have a lot of respect for the truck stuff. Yep. I yep. feel like you have a passion for it. We have a passion for it. And to be honest, like, podcasting isn't really our thing. Mm. But my thought is, like, you know what? You have the same love as we have the same love. We come from the same background. I know you said Roy knows you. I don't know your dad, but Roy knew your yeah. dad. You've been around. I saw you talked about that. You knew Flacco. You've been around. Yeah, his dad had a blue extended cab, right? Yeah, blue extended cab, yeah. They called it the Kraken back then. He probably got you, bro. Nah, he didn't <laughs> <got> no. <laughs> hey, hey, he didn't get me, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but no, no. But, but it's a... Uh, it, it, so I, I think... And like I tell you, and I t guys, the one thing I, 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 and I again, I, I see things do business. I, I, I'm, I have a, before I had this, I had another business. So I always view things yeah. through the business side of it. And I'm going to tell you guys, the truck stuff is blowing up. And the whole world wants to know more about trucks, wants to know more about the history. Because yeah. to the world, it's just overnight, bro. Yep. One day, it's overnight. But as you can, y'all know, this shit ain't overnight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. for example, like even Hoonigan is doing like trucks now yeah. for racing. Dude, they, we went to Hoonigan's what once, yeah. right? How yeah. was that experience yeah. like when y'all went to Hoonigan's? I took, I know y'all took crawfish. Yeah, it, it, dude. And to me, it's and I tell y'all, them guys were so blown away by the truck stuff. 
Dude, you had Lambos. They you were had, like, what the fuck? That thing came wrong with that. Yeah. Was it Tesla Plaid? The car, the oh, Tesla yeah, the Plaid. Plaid. They're going to get gapped. And then after, after Beto gapped them, it was like, what the fuck? A lot. Yeah. By yeah. A lot oh, hell yeah. It, it was, was like, like no fucking way. Is, did y'all plan the oil leak? No, oh. hell no. Nah. Hmm. Bro, I swear, on when you're watching it, it looks planned. Like, yeah, like it was like, Bro, we're gonna make it have. We're gonna, we're gonna Bro, make it leak mission, oil. <laughs> that mission was a fucking hardest mission. It was before we went. Crawfish motor went out. Yeah. So we let them borrow my personal motor out of my black truck. Oh. Wow. Wow. We literally, we busted ass that. I think it was during the week, and he and I think Perrio was leaving on a Thursday or Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. And we put my motor in there, and we hauled ass over there. Yeah. And then. The, oh, the, we tested one day here. In yeah, we did. We did test one day here, and then we took off. Yeah. And we unloaded over there. Made one pass. Me driving it. Just to make sure everything's good, and then Beto get in the seat. Yeah, and he did what he did. Yeah, we doubted yeah. in the day before, got there, and, and I'll tell you, and it's funny, like if I don't know it what was a video to get there. Yeah. No, the, the Hoonigan video. The Hoonigan video yeah, doesn't yeah. show a lot of it, but we're sitting there and we're trying to figure out where it's coming from, and it blew the oil pressure sensor. The middle of it, it came yeah. out, so we're like looking for it, looking for it, and. Nah, bro, that shit we was... sent somebody to O'Reilly go get parts, and we fixed it there, bro. Yeah, no, I seen that. Uh, it was yeah. a motherfucking... It was oh, it was on the gas video. I'm sorry. It yeah. Was on, the on theirs, you oh, can yeah, see... Oh, yeah, they do yeah. show the background. And, and, and when me and Roy are talking, like, Roy, we got to fix it. Like, that's really... That's honest. That's real, bro. That's, we need it now. Like, yeah, like... I thought it was a roommate in C1 and Adrian was like, you got to take the training off. I'm like, you're stupid or what? <laughs> 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 right here. Like, bro, you tripping, dog. <laughs> right here on the tarmac. Right there, like, that's how right. And, bro, it's, it's a dirt road. Yeah. Hey, bro, that GTR, bro. That GTR was out there. Air Jacks. Uh, hey Roy, they could do it. We could do it too, bro. Air Jacks? No, no, bro, GTR. but they, they had all kinds. They, yeah. they were legit. They had a real thing. They were legit. I, I, I broke down. We got the, the jack. Like, yeah, the GTR. Yeah, yeah, broke carbon fiber body GTR, yeah. bro. He That's said like he said his body was how much? He uh, said he had like four hundred and fifty thousand in that car. I think it was like sixty thousand just for the body. He said he, he's like I got about four hundred and fifty in this car. I was like what? So he got the truck comes in and like you couple see the dumb Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> So hey, I like, know, <laughs> hey, but you have a forfeit of four hundred fifty, almost half a milli JTR, and then you have a how much, how much was crop, it? like I, that's got probably about no, it already had in it. No, it was probably like a hundred thousand. No, a little more. No, like the setup it has, like to, with to build, it. To build the crawfish when we took it that day, I'd say about one twenty. To build it right, if you want to go build crawfish the way it was, about hundred. No, it was before we did the four link. It was still in ladder bars. But it's not the cage and everything already. Yeah, but it was in back half. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's say 120. Oh, well, let's say, oh, yeah, but still, yeah. half a million. Still 100,000, yeah. That's a $100,000 yeah, okay. truck. Yeah. 120 versus 450, crazy. Just to be like, boom. Yeah. You know, crazy build. Yeah. You know, like, it's crazy. No, Trucks no. Flying down. And I will tell y'all, too. The guy was saying, you, you guys are doing us? <laughs> that was about it. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, I'll tell y'all, too. Hey, guys, like, we were nervous, bro. We didn't. That's, that's, you know what I mean? That We knew that GTR run sevens. You know, we were nervous. We weren't sure if we could beat them. We talked about that. Like, we're game planning. We're having strategy. Like, what do we do? And that's when yeah. Beto's like, I'm a fucking tree. I'm going to jump on his ass. Well, fuck it. Jump, bro. Like, <laughs> the arm drop is chasing no, the race. Hey, Beto's good at that shit. Yeah. Really? He was. Yeah, he, he did it. You know, he did it. And, and we got that first race in with the drive shaft and stuff. And, uh, and it's, you know, the worst part of all of it. And people, and dude, like, the worst part of all of it is, at the time, that final race was the best race, the final, the third race. Yeah, yeah. But what they don't know is that we, so we, in the past, we, we had made four passes. Because we made one pass, the guy didn't leave. And then we made like a couple passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our, the, the converter was hot, transmission was hot. We're blowing through the converter bad. Like it's, it, it, we were, that was like our slowest pass was the final pass. Wow. Oh, we yeah, mind you, it was cool everything was How hot. cool was it over there? It, it was like, well, you can't cool it down. They, they hot lap you, bro, like five minutes. Yeah. Wow. Remember the GTR had broken the dry shaft too. Yeah. But the, so it was two races in a row. The transmission was you crazy. Lap it in those race trucks, you need to let them cool down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the converter. More than the converter was crazy hot, but uh, but they didn't let y'all blow air it or anything. Yeah, yeah. We had fans, but it's only like a ten minute. Yeah. Damn, bro. And, and I remember we were at a what is it curfew? So like, dude, we gotta get it going. Yeah. So we had to hurry up that last race. Damn. Yeah. We're, <laughs> yeah. So so and again, we're sitting there waiting. We got ten minutes, but it's like imagine right now we're doing the everyone just sat, sitting around waiting for us to cool the truck down. Oh, uh, yeah, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing going on. While you're cooling them down, they're over there chit-chatting. Chit-chatting. Yeah. Come and check on. You already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's, they're waiting for the video. Yeah, but we were yeah. waiting to come back. But uh, I, So a lot of people see the like, GTR kind of get us at the very end. But, man, that converter's cooled down, bro. That GTR get gapped. How was the experience like, though, like being, uh, on, being on Hoonigan? Man, Hoonigan? man dude, I'll tell you. Like, you re yeah, you're on Hoonigan, but at the same time, you're representing... Houston. Pasadena Speed Shop, yeah. you're representing sure. Houston, you're representing Pasadena, you know, like, it's more to then, oh, well, I'm going to be a hoon again, you know, I'm like, a, you rep your brand, you rep what you built, you know what I'm saying? 
it was it was a badass experience. It, it's awesome. But what I'm gonna tell you though, bro, and and people don't understand, and it's, a, it's actually the progression the last two years, bro. You don't understand the magnitude of it until you like you're just there. It's like right now, bro. We're here. We're hanging out. We're yeah. chilling. Hey, bro, what if this fucking video goes and gets a hundred thousand views? Yeah. Were we expecting that? No. But we're just here. So it's those guys are cool. They ha and, and I tell y'all. And so it's, it's the business side. I think about the business side. <laughs> and I hate I hate being that way, but uh, we didn't expect it to be that good. We didn't know who we were racing against. Uh, so you're nervous. You're excited. We're traveling. You know, it's it's us. It's those guys. It's the crew, the truck. Like, it was it was, it was was badass, but um, it, I, I promise you, bro, you don't understand the magnitude. It, it, you're just there hanging out, racing. Yeah. Again, dude, that's, that's what we do, bro. Like, we race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cameras it another, is... It was another day in the office. Yeah, it mm. really okay. was. I didn't know you were... It, it was a badass experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were racing a GTR. No, no they didn't tell you nothing, bro. Wow. Well, I mean... They this and that, right? This I mean, and that. They tell them, but... Yeah. I, well, no, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Oh, nobody knew when we were racing. You just show up. Yeah. At first, we were supposed to race a truck, remember? But the truck broke or something like that. Oh, hey, California we truck. Told, I don't know. A California truck, but the guy got scared. He didn't want to run crawfish. So we raced the plaid and then we raced the what GTR. Truck? GTR was what truck was it? it when, was when you good. show up, when you show up to race the Hoonigans, you do not know who you're racing until you're pulling to the line. So you show up, show out. You show up and show out. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And you, next time, we need the airlift. Yeah, we need the air jacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pro jacks, bro. Yeah, it's pro jacks. Pro yeah, jacks. we need the pro jacks. No, too. but the thing about it is, you just, they, they don't tell you nothing. You just show up. Yeah. So you weren't, a, even, you weren't prep ready at all, for sure. Yeah, and, really. and I tell you, man, I go back to it, man. And then we talk about what changed. Bro, YouTube, the cameras, the attention. And I, I feel like, dude, that that race, bro, people don't understand the, the, the that Hoonigan episode. Bro, that's what made everybody go viral. That's what made crawfish go viral. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's when the whole world figured out what the fuck is going on. Everybody, like, the camel red truck. What everybody is? just, like, eyes yeah, on crawfish, dude. bro. And again, and I tell people, man, hey, bro, those guys, you know, Beto and them, like, dude, they're so good on camera. That's what they do. So when they go to the Hoonigans, you know, it's how he, how good of a job he did, how good the truck looks, how good it performed. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it was, and I tell you, bro, like, it really started changing. Like, yep. it really started changing. That helped the, the truck game a lot. Oh, dude. Yeah, bro, and you can, I mean, Crawford's just a bad bitch. We built a bad yeah. bitch. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. And and so. Uh, they messing around. Oh, yeah. but bro, I mean, when he came, he's like, I want to be fucking gap everybody. So, all right, we're going to build something to gap everybody. And yeah. it did. It did uh -huh. gap everybody. I want to gap everybody, and here goes the bill. Yeah. There's <laughs> yeah. no, no, that's, 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 a price tag. There's yeah. a price tag. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be top, top? Uh, Crawfish was a lot of stages. Yeah, multiple yeah. stages. That's what, do you think that's what costs the most? Yes. Going through stages and trips? Yes. I mean, I know, but I'm saying, you know, 10. Yeah, no. And I, I know I talk a lot, and you I hate switch that. Your, you switch your setups. We want to go all blown nitrous. Then you go... Single, then you go. I mean, you know, it might yeah. be cheaper to go. It was a street it, truck on the 85. So you know, and first. then you go. Yeah. Then you got to prep for alcohol. You know, so it's, it's a, like it's it's a lot more expensive doing it in stages. But yeah. the thing about it is, the customers like it like that. I guess because they start they start off slow and then gradually get into it more mm. and more. It's more of a passion. Yeah. Because mm. Gremlin was the same way. Mm. The C10 was the same way. They've all been the same way. The yeah. six second truck. It was the same way. He started off. I remember back then it was an eight-second truck. Nine. Then went to nines, and then eights, and then sevens, and then the motherfucker wants to go fives now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have to change it. Put a whole jet engine in yeah, this. My moment. boy, you're already crazy, bro. That yeah. motherfucker crazy. Yeah, but but you, I would tell you. Who's this? Who's this? Durley. 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 Oh yeah, Medina. Yeah. 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 Durley yeah. Medina from but, Zapata. But, yeah, yes. One of the things that we tell people now from our ex and I, I'll tell you, our, our past dinner speech shop, but we have the most to offer is the experience. Yeah. You know, the experience to start anything from a camp kit. To a six-second truck, anything in between, we could do it. But I always try to tell people, guys, when you're going to do a build, you have to have your end goal in mind ready because it's you start building to that. You know, it's, it's level. Yeah. yeah, it's the chat. Rather it be suspension, rather it be the transmission, rather it be the motor, the so parts. elaborate a little bit more versus like, okay, what's the end goal? Let's say 1,200, right? You're not going to build a 1,200 and then keep your trends, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what you mean? Well, yeah, well, yes. So and keep the, your 406 the trans. Is, the thing well, is, well, is, we always ask the customers, and it's simple questions like, hey, bro, what's your goal? What do you want to run? And what's your budget? Yeah. Because the budget has a big, what is it, a big part a big of it? Part of it, yeah. It's yeah. Part of it, yeah. You know? Well, it's the ultimate factor. 90% part. Yeah, <laughs> all, hey, we all got a whole If you ain't got the money, and then, and hey, then if you ain't got the money, don't. And yeah. these crazy customers that come in here and be like, hey, bro, I want to make 2,000 horsepower, but drive it in the street. I'm like, whoa, that's like that $450,000 GTR, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's expensive. Yeah. yeah, but 
So. And then like you're so the the part of it where you save the money, it's it's so so always in racing like anything the better parts are going to cost more money. So, and it's always a game. It's always a balance. You're always trying to find the balance of, you come to me, you give me a budget of 100000 Well, I got to figure out where I should put the 100000 But mm. you could buy a transmission, let's say for 2,000 horsepower. No, no, I'm sorry. A 1,000 horsepower transmission is going to cost you maybe 2500 bucks. But then you'll get a 1,500 horsepower transmission will cost you a little bit more. Then you get a 2,000 horsepower transmission and it costs you more. So if we start off originally at shooting for a thousand horsepower, and we get you a transmission for a thousand horsepower. The day of tomorrow, when you want to go make fifteen hundred, well, I'm sorry, bro, but this transmission gonna let go. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta get. So you already yeah. spent all that money, yeah. and it's only a little bit more. So it's like, okay, we'll get rid of this. Let's try to sell it, but you can't. Yeah. So that's where it's yeah. just like, and I'm gonna tell you guys too. Like nowadays, as a shop, we have to protect people from themselves. Mm. Because it's everybody, and it seems real easy, but I will tell you, as a shop now, guys, we started kind of overbuilding them. Because like Roy says, everybody always going to want more. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the... That's well, the it's not only that, these new trucks, they go fast with real little. Mm. Yeah. The barbecue's turning on. Oh, barbecue heard that? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Are you serious sure. or are you just like... No, I'm being for real. Oh. Oh, yeah, bro, we're cooking. Uh, barbecue. We're cooking I thought he's like, the barbecue's turning on, there's just like a little creature. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, got a, they got a mascot too. Man. A mascot? <laughs> it's a fucking the chupacabras. <laughs> yeah. But but it, it, it's a progress of it, and we we it's a fine line. And like Roy says, man, nowadays you got a lot of people that they think trucks are real cool. They don't understand the level, what it takes to race at this level. They don't understand the money that it takes. And yeah. you talk about, hey, bro, when you go to the track with this every time, it's anywhere from 500 bucks to $1,000 just in track support. Yeah. Just to go out there and have us help you out and rather be Roy driving or us tire pressure and set the shocks or set this and set that. And it's, it's so much money. Testing. Uh, yeah, yeah, testing. And testing is a big part of it. And we've been able to cut out a lot of the testing because we've already – We've already gone through with other customers, uh, or we've experienced it. You know, we have more experience with it, but um, it's really hard to find that balance of of bills, man. And really, unfortunately, the ultimate deciding factor is your budget. And so, really, you tell me what your budget is, and we can build whatever. But um, yeah, that's the, the parts is the biggest part. The, par <laughs> the parts and getting the parts to handle yeah, the power, yeah. you know, it's always the battle. Yeah. And then, like, it's funny because, like, the last race Gremlin had with the Ford with with Baby King Ranch. Yeah. Bro, we knew the motor we had, dude, we were pushing that motor way more than we ever should have pushed it. Mm. But it was holding up. So it's holding up and, and, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I mean? So let me ask, since we're on the subject, right, because kind of deviated a little bit, but what happened to Gremlin when it raced? So on that race? Yeah, on that race, and we'll go back, the motor, we pushed the motor past its limit. The piston was a, just an off-the-shelf piston. No, the, I mean, it, it was a, it was a 18 horsepower, 1800 horsepower engine. Yeah. It was, it yeah, was. yeah. We're pushing about 2200 already. Oh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and then y'all turned, did y'all turn it up more when, on that race? No. Or a little bit more? Or? Well, he, he grabbed the, so, and, I, yeah. I grabbed the scramble. So, mm. the scramble button gives you a little bit more boost. I've never had to use it. Yeah. Mm. So, that time, I grabbed it. And it let go. Let's say I had yeah. to watch. Right when he grabbed it, it let go. But and again, I mean, you gotta understand, we're already at 2,200 plus the scramble. Oh, yeah. so you're probably up between 2,000 to 2,300, and yeah. it decided to let go. And, and we said so we knew going into it, we knew that the motor was at its limit. But at the same time, it's you're just there. It's running badass. You we're know, just there to have fun, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we were there to have fun. Yeah. yeah. Win or lose, we're there to have fun. Yeah. I mean, I we mean, lost. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What I always say is like, if it's destroyed, upgrade. Yeah. You know so oh, and, and and that truck should have been parked since what race? After uh, after we won the shootout. April, after we, yeah. we won the April shootout. Yeah. It was supposed to go to the chassis plot, chassis place, new engine, all this, but the motherfucker was running so good we kept going. Yeah. So until yeah. it blew up. And right now it's getting yeah. upgraded. Yeah. The the wrist pin actually let go of the piston. Mm. The wrist pin let go. It's just power, it's too much power. It, it was overpowered it. The tune was good, everything was good. We just pushed the, the limit of the motor, and uh, and I will say, like, <clears throat> Ruben, the owner of Gremlin, and we knew it, but he's like, hey, well, go, let's go, and we blow it up, and, you know, we got the other one coming. We got the next motor coming already, so, you know, whatever, let's go see what happens. So we went out there. Uh, their, their truck did good. Uh, it just happened. We all powered the motor, and kaboom. <laughs> what, 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 uh, what rods does it have, or did it have? It had uh, that motor had a Weisco Boostland rods. Mm. 
Still a steel rod. Steel rod. I mean, that motor, like I say, was rated for eighteen hundred horsepower. That's but you're said. pushing it twenty two hundred though. You yeah, said yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. We're pushing about two thousand, two thousand twenty two hundred. Damn. Wow. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. I, I tell you, man, them four by fours, they're making some real power. You need, and that's you need. I was talking about earlier. I don't know if you got if we talked yeah. about it. Yeah, but, we did. Uh, yeah. The the four by four, the axles. We talked about that. The, how it's just uh, more drivetrain. The drivetrain loss. They're heavier. You have. Yeah. So we don't. You put two thousand horsepower in a two wheel drive, you're gonna have more mile per hour. Yeah. But in a four by four, your mile per hour is down. And I, hey, dude, I think Gremlin goes one fifty in the eighth. Damn. One hundred and fifty mile, mile per hour in the eighth. Wow. It, it got mile per hour. It got to the top in charge. Well, uh, it used to. <laughs> it used to, yeah. <laughs> it used to. Uh, <laughs> right now, it used to, but uh, <laughs> now that motherfucker can't even crawl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, it, it, he grabbed the scramble. Um and and they let go right at that let point. Let go about the three thirty, right? Yeah, right past the three thirty. Right, he got the three thirty. He told me, and I, I can tell y'all, but he told me he looked over, saw the Ford right there. He grabbed the scramble, and and right when he grabbed it, boom, it, it let go. Damn. So they got, they ended up getting the win. You know, congrats to those guys. I've always said it. Congrats to them. Uh, they had the truck on point. You know, uh, but Gremlin is coming back. I mean, we're gonna we're we're getting some more upgrades. And just a little bit of sauce on the on the build of Gremlin. Like, what's to come for them? Uh, so. <laughs> I don't want. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna pull back a little. I'll tell, I'm gonna pull back a little bit of my sauce. Uh, the Gremlin, Grim, the next process of Gremlin, uh, we're really really excited about. It's at the chassis shop right now, losing weight. So we're gonna lose. We're probably gonna lose about 150 pounds. 150 pounds, 200. Pounds. Damn, it's on the yeah. treadmill right now. Yeah. I'm trying to lose 150 <laughs> pounds, yeah. big dog. Yeah, that's me. We're gonna lose Adrian. Uh, <laughs> I need to lose some weight myself. Yeah, I, I think they always tell me, bro. But hey, I, I got a more boost. I got a question. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. Does, do y'all pick and choose like, oh, he's gonna race because he's always lighter? You think it's a big factor? I mean, kind of right. It, it, well, it, oh. being lighter is. It like is if a you big if you weigh like one, let's say 150 versus a 200 pound guy, yeah. like and I'll you will go faster. I think when we had our when we had our nitrous truck. Like yeah, PB, uh, PB, we had a, a nitrous truck. Not only that, Pinata too. Pinata too, but well, I, I, I drove PB. Yeah. He drove the PB, was the name of the truck, the, brown, yeah, yeah, the nitrous yeah. truck. I think it was like five numbers, half a tenth difference from him driving to me. That's Damn, a that's, that's like a, I mean, imagine, I like, <laughs> imagine you guys are racing, right? And then I was like, hey, ¿cuánto pesas? 200. We all, 190. That way. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. And, and the natural aspirity, though, like, a, like just uh, yeah, like yeah. lower seven. horsepower. Yeah. I remember the, on the piñata, the guy would drive, run like 6'6", six, six, and then I'll run it run like 6'2". Ah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it was like 6'4", 6'2", it, it, it was like two numbers, something like that. I don't remember. But all the taquaches gordos and flacan, if you guys want to go fast. Yeah. Bro, and boost. It's different. Yeah. Just add more boost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or just add more boost. Yeah. And probably fuck up your motor. One, one PSI more. Is that <laughs> yeah, well, and be careful. You're going to be like Gremlin with no motor. Oh, my God. You're going to have a hole on the side of your block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I always tell them, we always argue about that. Like, hey, bro, chill, bro. Stop eating, Roy. Stop eating so much. <laughs> oh, like, trying to lose weight but, on the truck, too. But I'm going to tell you all, guys. I'm going to tell you all this, that. For like Roy, like a driver, and you talking about the, when you have an experienced driver, let's say like yeah. Roy, bro, I could be lighter. We could put somebody lighter than me in there, but the experience does matter. You yeah. know, that that's the part of it where there's some there's some fast fast guys, bro. Like a, a, a class is way above like the radio racing guys. Yeah, three hundred pound dudes, bro. Or like, look yeah, at, yeah, look at like street outlaws, bro. Like Scott Taylor. I'm not trying to say he's fat, but Scott Taylor. I mean, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, hey, but, compadre. He's, big. he's big. He's a big dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're, they're, they're big, though. They're like. Yeah, they're tall. They're tall. Yeah, they're tall. A, lot, a lot of those guys are big and tall. Yeah, yeah man. Ryan Martin. We drove. We raced against Ryan Martin on the show. Bro, I'm six foot. I'm like, God damn, dude. Like, <laughs> and, and he's, he's, he's Coxwell. I'm like, yeah, yeah. damn, dude. Like, Turn it up, honey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. And, and I think it's. And that's why people like they kind of laugh, and now you kind of see that trend. No hoods. Yeah. You know, we started doing that way back, taking the tailgate off, taking the bumpers yeah, off, yeah, yeah. taking the passenger seat out. You start cutting the doors out the speakers. I mean, yeah. the speakers out the doors, yeah. like you see stuff out of the dash. Yeah. Well, no son los vatos de las valles, eh? Yeah. It's apparently, the RGB was saying that they did it first. Oh, but no hood? No, no, no. no, no. The, oh, the just a lot of stuff. Well, but, yeah. I, I, it's hard. It's, it's a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll say this, and I, you know what? Nah, I don't want the Valley to hate me, bro, but the Valley definitely just started. But uh, you got to gotta, you gotta give credit where credit is due, yeah. and Houston took it to the next level. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's, That's true. You know, yeah. and, and I'm going to say this, too. 
Like you got people like Flaco. Flaco's from the Valley originally. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and there's a couple other guys. Uh, my buddy from Rec Performance. I'll give those guys a shout out. They were from the Valley originally. A lot of the OG guys from Houston, they started off in the Valley, but they moved to Houston. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so a lot of those guys ended up coming over here. Um, and, and I like we said, we are spoiled in that we have the better racetracks. Yeah. I think if the Valley had a caliber of track like we got, and I guarantee you those guys would be fast too. I mean, it's... Because they're fast over there too. They're fast. They're fast down there, but they just don't have quite, you know, the uh, that, it's an advantage. The yeah. tracks we have is definitely an advantage. Yeah. You don't got but those tracks that we got. Definitely, I think... You I didn't think. give us a sauce about Gremlin. Oh, my bad, my bad. Right. You're trying to deviate, Adrian, and we're not going to let you on the podcast, all right? <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to... Uh, so, so like, where's Gremlin Gr- going? Gremlin, Gr- Gremlin next? Yeah, what's next Gremlin. for Gremlin? That's what I mean, yeah. The... the I mean, you want not the secret sauce. Just no, the, you no, know just what's next. What's like, next? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, we're just gonna go out there and try our best, bro. Run uh, our race. <laughs> that's not what he nah, wants. Nah, hell, hell no. Run no. our race. Yeah, 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 we're gonna try our best. Opposite of sauce. We're just gonna try our best. Yeah. Man, hell uh, no. What, like, no, no, no. I, I, what's, I, what's the so, motor? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I, I tell people he wants uh, to hear it. Yeah. So, so like I said, I was saying earlier, Gremlin right now is at the chassis shop. Is getting some upgrades. We're gonna lose about 150 pounds. We got a brand new motor already coming that'll probably make about 2,800 to 3,000 horsepower. Damn. Uh, we're excited about <laughs> aluminum rod. Uh, Everything's billet. Cannon valve. Hey, billet down yeah, all around, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. The best of the best. Uh, and I tell people, like, it's it's hard for people to understand the comparisons, but I, I do think when Gremlin comes out, I, we talked about it earlier. I'm not sure. Uh, crawfish is definitely at the front of the pack. Crawfish right now is the st- – when they get – well, let me say that. When they bring crawfish back out, when they bring crawfish, the new crawfish with the upgrades they just did to it, crawfish will be the standard. But uh, I honestly believe that Gremlin will be the next closest truck to crawfish. I think we're going to have very similarities. Uh, the chassis are very similar. The motors are very similar. Not to, the, They have a billet block, but the billet block don't make you no power. Yeah. It, it, it just If you blow a hole in it, you can weld it up. That's the only difference. A little lighter. Oh. oh, They're a little bit lighter. They are a little bit lighter. There, there is that. They're a little bit lighter. Um, more expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, um, we have – it's a really good motor. We're going to make – we're probably capable of making 3,000 horsepower. We have the twin 88s already. Um, so it, it's exciting. We're, we're excited, man. And I, I think I kind of – I don't really talk too much about the past, but, guys, Gremlin's been A to B, man. It, yeah. We – I believe – and kind of going back to what I said earlier, grudge racing to class racing. In grudge racing, bro, you show up. And you're going to swing for the fences. You're going to, hey, I'm going to 100%, my hottest tune-up is going in this thing. In class racing, you're showing up. I got to beat multiple guys. I got to go rounds. I'm going to race the track. I'm going to race this. I'm going to race the surface or the conditions or what I think you run. Yeah. And I'm going to put a tune-up in there. To, and so that's, that's the way I race, bro. Like, I tune that way. Let me ask you this. You guys ever think that y'all will race on the gas? Between- Will we race them? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I want to see the call out. Yeah. Like when, when, you, when it's ready, you know, like. Yeah. And so, so, man, dude. So I'll say this. I'm going to say this. They told me sauce. You, told, you did tell yeah, me. Bring I, I'm going to tell you. let Roy go call him out. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, Roy, can I call him out? <laughs> Roy, what you got to say, Roy? What I'm going to tell, what I'm going I'm to tell, what I'm going to tell the world, what I'll tell, what I'll tell anybody out there is Pasadena Speed Shop is at the racetrack every weekend. Not today. We're ready. We're ready to race anybody. Oh, it's raining today. today. It's right now. Well, it's right now. Come on, these we go race every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, uh, we we we're ready to race, bro. We love to race. We love to be in the race. We love the challenge. You know, we want to race. We want to race anybody. We want to race everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, crawfish is definitely. You know, and I say in my mind, I know everything about crawfish, bro. We built the truck. We built the truck. What they're doing now was always part of the process. It was always part of the plan. It was always the next level, the next phase. Um, and, and, and so I'm excited with Gremlin. I got a driver, bro. I got a driver. I got a truck. Hell of a driver. I got a hell of a driver. Nah. Uh, yeah, nah. All right, all right. Not he's, not, he's all right. He's all right. Not to disrespect you, buddy, but I'm like, but with a year, what's going to happen? I'll probably lose like almost 20 pounds. I'll be lighter, you know? You got to think about it next year, you know? Yeah. You have to go all the way, but I know you were talking about lightweight. I was like, este compadre, you're going to probably lose unos 10, 15 pounds. Why do you think I sent the truck to lose more weight? Hey, why do you think he's turning it up more? Right, you're right, you're right. Oh, no, oh, Game more pounds, game more pounds. I tell y'all, guys, we we love to race, man. Yeah. We, we, and I know I know the world wants to see the hype and the back and the forth. I got We got nothing to prove to nobody. We don't have nothing to prove to nobody. Uh, like at the April shootout, we just showed up and we ran our race. We ended up winning the whole thing. We're very happy. We're very proud of that. 
Um, but no, nah, for sure, bro. We want to race everybody, man. We yeah. we and crawfish is is one we would definitely want to race. What about velocity? Oh, him too. Oh, I, I, you know I, they're coming big too, right? Yeah. They're building the. And I got. <laughs> almost, almost. Spicy, I almost. I almost. Oh, you to fucking let go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm gonna put it this way, and I'm a, I'm gonna tell you my my. You guys about velocity. I'm sure you're gonna ask me about Manuel. You're gonna ask me about OJ. You're gonna ask me. Uh, I'm not mind, now. I'm not gonna ask now because you said you're gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, the way we see it in our eyes, if we try to get ready for the fastest. If I'm trying to go, if I'm willing to, if I'm willing to race crawfish, if I, if I think I have enough for crawfish, I think I have enough for anybody. Mm. So the goal is, is you kind of, and that's that's just the way racing is. You go for the fastest guy. Um, <clears throat> we'll race those guys, bro, ten times in a row if they want. You know, we've already raced them multiple times. Uh, we love racing, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. We love it. We, yeah, we we won and we lost. Yeah. yeah. I think with with uh, what's the truck called? Velocity truck. We're one and one. Yeah, baby king ranch. King ranch. Baby king king ranch. ranch. One, one and one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but no, no, bro. We want to race everybody, bro. Like the Gremlin, we're not, we're not, we're not doing all these upgrades to leave it parked. Is that the stamp? Is that trucks like your stamp for Which Pasadena? One? Gremlin. Gremlin. As like that. I mean, obviously it represents Pasadena, right? Because it, y'all build it, you know. But could y'all say that truck is like your stamp truck? Like nah, really? What stamp? Uh, our stamp. Our, our like, like our, a, number, our like, like our Holy Grail. Nah, yeah. Dirty Medina. Dirty. Dirty Medina. Big Bad Brown. The only six second, they, and it's the only six second LS truck in Texas. Yeah. You know, for now, uh, Durley's truck is it's, it's a whole nother level, man. That, that truck is a whole nother level. Gremlin is cool for the four x four stuff, and, and don't get it twisted. It's it's good, but Gremlin can't touch Big Bad Brown. Damn, really? Yeah, we, yeah you know, Big Bad Brown, bro, is a whole nother level, man. And and, and I don't think people understand that. I'm, hey, that C10 behind you, bro, it's a bad motherfucker. That C10 right there, and, and so it, it's. I, I tell you this, man. We have. We have lots of trucks, bro. You have the ammo. We have lots oh, of we, ammo. We have a truck for every day of the Any week. category, yeah. any class, any level, we're showing up. Sass. And we got, we're got ready to race. Damn. So <sighs> it's the 4x4 class. You got a 4x4 class and you invite past in a speed shot, we're taking Gremlin. Yeah. You got a no prep race, we're taking Gremlin. Roll race. Roll race. Oof, oof. <laughs> the blue one. Yeah. Take the blue, the blue one. one. You know? Hey, uh, so, what, what are you, so let me ask you this. Roll race, no prep, or track? What do y'all prefer? Well, no prep is at the track. Yeah, or radio. radio. I'm sorry, street. I'm sorry. Street race, roll race, or track race? I think now we're older, bro, so we think about going to the streets. Uh, Consequences. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then now you know they got the laws now. It's crazier now. Before, it's like you get caught street racing, okay, slap on the wrist. Yeah, nah, now it's like, all right, you got to go. And, and I, we prefer the track most of the time. Yeah, I feel like for safety reasons, hey, bro, I've been on the track, bro. I've been on the street. You see guys roll over, and there's nobody there, bro. You can't call the ambulance. You can't call the cops. The ambulance. You, you know, yeah. like, you can't. So the street racing is fun. It has its own different challenges. It's You feel a little bit more like a fucking rebel. Like, you feel more, you know, you do. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. Jay the boss, or you feel like Big yeah. Chief yeah. on the street. But but the truth is is that like, it's safety, man. You're, yeah. We're older, dude. We got families, and, yeah. and it's just like really, really. I think no prep racing. It's the most challenging. It's the most. You get the driver. You need the power management, and you need the truck. Yeah. So that's where it's it's. I feel like the no prep stuff. I think. Let me ask you this: What state do y'all think go, really goes hard at racing, or like has the biggest bets in racing? Like trucks or period racing? Trucks. Oh no no, no. Let, trucks and no mass racing. Uh, well, tr- when it comes to trucks, Texas, no, no one does it. And, and, uh, Houston. It's, it's Houston and Dallas. It, it, well, well, mostly well, Houston. Dallas is getting up there. Yeah, but the truck scene in Dallas isn't quite up to par yet. I mean, they're barely, you know, they're on the come up. The truck Houston scene. is where it's at, bro. Yeah. Them, them, yeah and I, Dallas I said, is more into clean builds, right? Yeah. They're getting up there in the racing yeah. side. But well, the, the car Dallas is real big in the grudge world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, and I say like, even like grudge racing, money, and I, and I can't, and it's, it's hard because we don't even like racing for a lot of money. That's the truth. Like, we don't. Yeah. But uh, let me ask you this, honestly. You got a hundred and twenty thousand dollar truck. Why not race for big money? Or like, if you got a two hundred thousand dollar truck, why not put them like hey, let's wait for, at least for five k, ten k? Like what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, uh, valley like that. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, sorry. and it goes. It, you know what I'll tell you? It just goes. It goes back to our style of racing. Our style of racing is not set up for grudge racing, bro. The way I think, the way, I, and I got customers. We got some customers of ours, 
you know, that they've come in and they're more grudge racing mindset. And I tell you, man, I can't even, it's really hard to try to explain the different mindsets of class racing and grudge racing. But the thing is, is like I tell you, it, it. So if you run class, you don't bet? Nah, we don't really bet. You run for the pot. Okay. You, mm -hmm. you pay a buy-in, yeah, 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 yeah. 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, yeah. and then everybody runs for that pot. Yeah. So when someone comes up to you, be like, Not even a side bet? That's not really Sometimes, our. Sometimes, but not yeah. really. But that's not really our deal, bro. Like yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. It's weird. Like, it's and even before, like it's just not. It's like just the, I think the way back in the days you let the trucks do the talking. Now yeah. it's your pocket do the talking. Yeah. So if somebody comes well, up to it's you, it's like, bro, we're racing. The trucks are doing the talking. Why? So you think that if somebody says, "Hey, let's race for 20k," they're more like, "Oh, well, I know he's not, so I'm gonna say it." Yeah, maybe he don't have it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I ain't racing for no 20k. I, and well, I we were putting into the truck. We did race for 20,000 yeah, aside one time. <laughs> yeah, and 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 I just like and again, bro. That win or loss? We lost. We lost. We lost. And we spun at the line. Yeah, we spun at the line. You cannot. Hold on, hold on. I gotta ask you. You cannot. What let race it. was it? Oh, you cannot let that uh, go. Bro. Don't let it go, bro. Oh, truck, yeah, truck Nationals. Uh, it was Gremlin versus uh, OJ. OJ. The transmission yeah. went out on the line. It leaked transmission fluid all over. It sprayed. Like, uh, it sprayed uh, transmission fluid on the tire, and it spun the tire at the line. Didn't leave the line. And I'll tell, so let me go back to this. And I guess for us that we build these trucks every single day, Damn. we build them every single day, and we race. We race so much. I tell, guys, racing is not, it's not a science like people think it is. It's not, a, it's not what people – you you can go out there like, like it's Gremlin. I feel we had the faster truck, you know, that day. And I, I tell, we have the faster truck, I felt. And we go out there and some dumb just, you know, you go out there and you just leak some dumb and you could, and I don't know, bro, I don't know. I, I just. Yeah, yeah. Shit I, happens. Like anything can happen. Yeah. And to me, and I guess anything everybody just. happen in racing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I tell you, I think it's more, I think, I don't know. I think the way people see the money, the money side of it. To some people, bro, you race for that much money and it gets their, their juices flowing and they need that to like feel hyped. And to, I guess to us, bro, like hey, I don't. I mean, we could race for free, and I'm. Bro, but you talking twenty Gs? But I would, I would, like, I wouldn't even better. I would be. I've been more upset. I've been more upset if I just, you know, I didn't even at least try. But like it, it says me that you guys were just staying there. Like you were saying, you're moving. Like man, I wish like at least we were. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I'm a t it sucks. It, it sucks, and we were. We were I mean, it, again, it it sucks. But I always tell people when you race, bro, and you're willing. I, I, I go back to this. I, I'll, tell, I'll let's be more. Let's be more honest. Anything you, you haven't bet, been honest. Huh? <laughs> uh, I've been honest. Oh. About, about grudge racing. Okay. Well, I've been honest. No, no, but. Can you say that? Me. Can you say that? Salsa Let me lose my damn. Sorry. Uh, bad, bro. But, but, no, no. The thing is, is when you bet, bro, you, you bet what you're willing to, what you're able to lose. Like, yeah. hey, you're going to go bet this money, you're able to lose this money. And, and it fucking sucks, bro. Losing 20,000 fucking sucks. Like, it, it definitely sucks. You know what I mean? Like, it's not something you're happy with or you're proud of. Um, and we definitely, you know, you, I feel like we left that race and we want to race again. We just don't want to race for $20,000 again. Is that the biggest part you lost? Yeah. Yeah, that's the biggest part we lost. Damn. Yeah, 20, side, right? 20 aside? 20 aside. 20, $40,000? $40,000 total pot. Yeah. But they ain't messing around. I mean, the truck messed around. Yeah, the truck messed around, you messed know, around. and, and it's, it's, it's part of it, I guess, but, um, no, no, it, it's it's not us, bro. It's just it's just not it's not our cup of tea, man. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't like, some people they don't like class racing, bro. Yeah. Twenty nine, twenty nine. And, and and again, it's it's, and I think too, like Houston, I don't know, but it's weird, bro. Because like, Houston's never been big grudge scene. It's not a real big grudge scene, bro. You don't. It's same thing with the street. Talk about the street, Houston, bro. Houston does not have a big street scene. Even on the street, bro. Like there's not a lot of people out there racing on the street. And that's kind of the part of it for us where it's like, man, even the grudge side of it, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a lot of classes, and we just love fucking class racing. The grudge thing, scene is not real big in Houston. Yeah, You think man. it's gotten big, though? Mm. No. No. No? I, I mean, with the they're trying to make it big? They're trying. <laughs> they're trying. There's a couple of people that, that do love to grudge race. And yeah. I, I will say, there's, and I, you know what, let's just, the Fords, they love to <clears throat> grudge race, bro. That's their style of racing. Yeah. That, that is their style. But, the, the, and, and then, it, it's, it's. I, and I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying they're wrong. I, that's that's their preference, but that's not our preference. Yeah. And I will tell you, me and Roy will talk about this, and I'll say, and we talk, we've. I, I'm not saying never. All our losses have come on grudge races. Damn. We've never been beat in a class. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. The two four by four classes that have gone down in Houston at the track, we won both of them. Damn. Yeah. Crawfish won one, and Gremlin won the other one. Yeah. 
We won all 18, the fours there. We won 18, and we won, I think, 13 or whatever it was the second time. Now, in the grudge racing, that's where we've lost. And I would tell anybody, I would tell anybody, guys, we are not grudge racers. We're dumb. Even though we shouldn't race you, we're going to say yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, think, I think we get out hustled. Because, like, that one oh, time we raced with you. Gremlin for the 20, but not, we weren't ready. Remember, we had just finished yeah, the Yeah, and, and it came to us like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. All right, let's go. Fuck it. We, we'll go back to it. Let's go back. Let's give a back story. Gremlin, at that race, Truck Nationals was a race that we put on. We part owners of Truck Nationals, us on the gas, come together, and we put the race on. Yeah. I'm running the race. Roy's running all our trucks. I think we had 10 trucks show up. Damn. We finished Crawfish, and we finished Gremlin the week of. We had one day of testing the day before, and we show up. We said, and we're busy as hell. We don't want to run the trucks in the classes. They come over to our tent and start making a whole bunch of noise and talking all this and talking all that. And we really knew we shouldn't have. But you start getting in your feelings. You start, you know, you start this and that. And 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 he's right. I mean, starts pumping. Fuck it. Yeah, we, and again, we just said, starts pumping and we just said fuck it. We took a rhino pill, buddy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for real. And, and we said fuck it. And we raced and and we shouldn't have. Yeah. And we know those things. And but but again. You, okay, call us dumb, call us whatever you want, but but guys, we want to race. We like to race. Yeah. You know, should we have raced for twenty thousand? No, we should not have raced for twenty thousand. You know, hey, but don't grudge race no more, Adrian. Yeah, hey, no, bro. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I have, have, I have. No more grudge race for Fast Dino Speed Shop. <laughs> <laughs> want to race me? Put a shoot on out and invite us, and we'll show up. Boom. You know, that's kind of our thought process. But uh, and I tell you, guys, like, they're two different worlds. I don't even know how to explain. To, it's kind of like okay. Like you said earlier, no prep racing and radio prep racing, they're both racing, but they're completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mindset, the thought process, you know, and it's the same thing in grudge racing and in and, and class racing. And that's why, bro, like... Let's get into the, the shop more. Tell, talk about the build of Durley Medina. Man, Durley Medina. And shout out to my boy Durley. Our day, one of our day ones. Roy's known Durley for a long time. Um, the, the, truck, the truck came... It was down in the valley. It had been running down in the valley. I think he had went like 780s or 7... Uh, shit. Seven, oh, let's, seven, let's go back. Let's go back. It's been when, through several episodes. Yeah, yeah. Several several so oh. when, when, when Durley came to us, he already had the truck running. He had already broken to the 7s. Um, and, and we got together and we wanted to try to go a little bit faster. I think we changed the motor in there. Maybe. No, no, no. We ran what he had. We, we ended up 720s. going... 720s. We went 720s in the truck. And then we found the limit. The limit of the chassis and the limit of the motor. My boy, I hope his wife doesn't see this. My boy spent, can I say? He spent. Okay. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dirty. From 720, so people understand this. From 720 to go 690s in the quarter mile, he spent $100,000. For 0. 0.3 seconds. 0. 0.3. Now, we're not at the Damn. limit of it. We're not at the limit of it. We're faster than 690s. Compadre, you got to pay it. Getting divorced. But it was, it was like, <laughs> I tell you, it was $50,000 to spend at the chassis shop. With Skinny Man, and again, we go to Skinny Man. Skinny Man's known for radio racing. We redid the entire back half of the truck, you know, set it all up, got it done right, redid a new 9-inch, all new suspension, front suspension got redone, everything got done on the truck. Damn, that's... I, I would have heard a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it was tough. And then we got a whole new motor for it. Mm. We got the whole new motor for it. We, new turbo. We, yeah, new turbo. We got a new motor for it, new turbo on Very it. Pretty much the whole... Uh, got redone. Yeah. yeah, we redid the truck. <laughs> And, and we were out there. It's a new truck. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we were. It's a dedication, bro. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, yeah. and that's, that, again, and we talked about it. Durley had that truck when it was running 11s. And then it went 10s. And then it went 9s. I remember when he went, we went 6s. He would send us pictures, you know, when he was, went 980s. He was, he was on um, top 10, right? Like the, the list. Yes. Oh, I'm, yeah. Before. I think Durley was one of the slowers. I think Spike had it for a while. And yeah. then it was Juan. Yeah. I think it was Kanaya and then Durley. Yeah. yeah Kanaya no, was. Got it. After, after Kanaya, Spike got it. Or after Kwan, one of them. So Spike, Spike was the top one for a while. Yeah, Spike, Spike had, had it. Like Spike years. had the record. Yeah. And we, when we went to 720s, we reached the record. We went to 720s, but Durley's like, yeah, I want to go sixes. Yeah. What is it going to take? And we knew the chassis was already flexing. It was twisting. So we got with Skinny Man. Uh, he redid a lot. He redid the Shout whole back half on it. Shout out to Skinny Man. Oh, fuck that dude. Yeah, fuck that dude. And you can leave that in there too. I'm not even tripping. Uh, uh, Wait, you being serious? I'm being serious. I'm being <laughs> serious. Why? Nah, don't leave it in there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he said the first time we said it. Yeah, I ain't tripping about that. But no, no, uh, 
We ain't giving a shout out to him, but no, no. It, well, it, well, yeah. Well, still shout out. He did it for Durley, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did it for Durley. Like. <laughs> his, his chassis, he, did, he could build a badass chassis. That dude builds badass chassis. Um, and, and Skinny Man did the whole chassis. And Skinny Man is known for radio racing. Skinny Man's the same guy that built Flacco's truck, yep. Mona Lisa. Yep, yep. So in that process, we took, we took Durley's over there. We got the whole truck redone. Say, we got a new motor, new turbo. Um, and we go back out there. We were, and, and I do even going set sixes, dude. We struggled. We struggled, bro. We went to the track like three or four times. Wake up, dude. You look like you're falling asleep. <laughs> Need a Red Bull. Hey, he ate. Did you, did you drive? Um, uh, at some thirties? Yeah. Yeah. Let me bring up that conversation. Yeah, we don't want to talk. We don't want to talk about that conversation. Yeah. Let's talk about it a little bit. Did you? So, so on, I, did you drive? Gonna, yes. Yeah, I drive it. I still drive it. Sixes? No. no. He went <laughs> seven O's. Every Roy. time I would drive it, this motherfucker didn't give me a tune for six of I tried, ho. <laughs> I tried. I was, so, uh, Durley's, it was funny. Cause Put the mic closer. Put the mic closer. Uh, me and him always fight because he's like, he's like, first of all, Durley says he's the king of cuss. Yeah, he's the king cuss because he's, he's the fastest truck. Yeah, yeah, the Chevy, yeah, yeah. The Chevy truck. Chevy, Chevy truck, truck, so. Yeah. Chevy GMC. Durley came and uh, we were running like seven... 7-1, seven, 7-0. Seven, oh. After the rebuild. After the rebuild. And we couldn't go sixes because it was just... It was out of, it was out of gear. It was out of so gear. He left it, it here and he's like, you keep going. He had to go back to work. It was a, like a one-day thing. So I went like twice, bro. 7-0, 7-0, 7-0. The motherfucker comes and he runs sixes before me. Damn. Well, we went, like, one night we went like 7-0. Driver. No, hell yeah. no motherfucker driver. <laughs> yeah, we were the track and that you day. You know what's funny about it? Dirty's about another 100 pounds heavier than me. Damn. Not 100, bro. You're trying to... You're, Damn, 100? Like 30. <laughs> heavy uh, uh, probably 40. Oh, Durley's way taller than me and way bigger. 40, yeah, he's oh. tall. He's a big dude. My boy Durley's a big dude. Durley's about 250. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but he still went faster than me, little fucker. Yeah. yeah. To this day, he still went faster. I, can't, I haven't ran a six. So, it's, yeah, it's funny because Durley <laughs> went six. I think I think he's gone sixes like four times, three I've or four times. I've been a faster eighth yeah. mile, but he's been a faster quarter mile. Yeah. I would have been mad hey, that's too. that's crazy, though. I'm tripping, bro. That's stupid <laughs> A little fast. bit, a little that's bit. That's stupid fast, bro. And six we actually, fast. we could have broken to the 200 mile an hour mark in the quarter mile. But we were running out of gear. So, actually, when we went to 691, we're hitting the rev limiter at about 1,100 foot. And the, a quarter mile is 1,320 for those 1,320 feet. At 1,100 feet, we were out of gear, and we're banging the rev limiter. So, he's almost lifting. And I don't like to call it a coast, but if we're able to change the gear, we talked about it, change the gear, I think we go 200 miles an hour in the quarter mile. We're on 192. Yeah, 192 it went. Damn, I remember freaking Flaco tried to go 200 in a mile. Yeah. That was crazy, yeah. bro. Now it's quarter mile. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's no, crazy. Durley's truck definitely, uh, that's the one that put us on the map, bro. I mean, that's really the one that made Pasadena Speed Shop. Yeah, talk about another big build. <clears throat> you got Gremlin. You yeah. got um, Durley. Durley. Ooh, street yeah. truck. So Black Beast, and so another truck was Black Beast. So a lot of people know the Black Beast truck. And I think, like, I forgot what year it was. Flaco came out on 1320 one year with the 06, the black straight bed truck. It was with 1320. Yeah, he oh, came out on 1320 like, video. Oh, that street truck. Yeah, yeah the street, street 402 yes. Turbo. Yeah, yeah that so, one. Yeah, that, so one. That, that same truck. Uh, it had already gone real fast with Flaco. It had, like, a 408. Uh, we ended up putting a 427 in Twins. That truck right there, dude. And, again, four years ago, nobody was this fast. That truck, full weight, street truck. Dude, I think we went. We ended up going like low eight. Then like it was eight forties, eight thirties. It was yeah, five years ago. Dude, five years ago, bro. Eight forties with full weight, full seats. AC, everything. Yeah, and, and I think even had a system in that thing, dude. And and so that's <laughs> one of the ones that Black Beast was one of the trucks that definitely helped make us too. Back then, we were going to the track HMP. We're kicking everybody's ass, yeah. bro. That one, and we had a couple of little shootouts at HMP. We couldn't even run that truck. In the class, it'll yeah. kick us out because it was too fast. Damn. We ended up. That's so actually when when his wife started driving, we're like, bro, we're gonna put his wife in the seat. Damn. To go run the class, and she won the whole class. And the pot, how much was it? Uh, the, back then, like maybe like twenty five hundred bucks. It was it was, like it was like smaller. Five to four grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was smaller. The back more then. trucks that got there, the more pot. Yeah. Damn, that's so crazy. That, that's that nice. truck was way early on. Was one of our real, real first ones. And actually, we have it outside too, Crema. I'm not sure. Remember Kerema? I remember Kerema truck. Kerema, yeah. Well, that was back after two years. Blue. Okay. It's the one that had the blue with the oh, hood yeah. out the horn, out the hood. Way yeah. back in the day, the dual exhaust out the hood. Uh, Theus, you know. And I, I, Theus built it originally. Theus built that truck Motorsports originally. in the valley. Yeah. Yeah. Theus, Theus, yeah. yeah. And uh, that truck actually, when it, we also helped them guys after we did sixes and Durleys, we helped. We helped. That was Regal. running eight twenties. It, it went when it came to us. It was running like eight twenties, eight O's, eight twenties. We went seven fifties. Yeah. Damn. We went seven fifties in that one. 
Um, and that's, that's back in 2019. 18. 2018. When we originally reopened. Yeah, when, when we opened, we opened the shop. Not reopened, when we opened. No, it was 19, bro. Maybe 19. 19. Before we keep going, another build. Another build. Um, like new or older? So, Old school or newer? No, no, no. From, from Pasadena Speed Shop that y'all pumped out a truck. Y'all talked about uh, Darley Medina. Y'all talked about... Um, we can talk about the on-the-gas trucks that we built. I mean, we built a lot of them. Who? Crackhead from Long Gas. Crackhead? Yeah, we built big a lot build. of... Yeah, Crackhead was a big build. Crawfish was a big build. Yeah. Crackhead was... I mean, that was a record. That was a Leaf Spring record. Leaf yeah. Spring record? Okay. Yeah, we went... Had the Leaf yeah, Spring record. We beat it. Crackhead was a... It was a truck that uh, that came out of the Valley 2. They on the gas bought it from Spike. It came over here. That was a, a, t a stock... I think it was a stock block, re-sleeved. It was a stock 5.3 block. Resleeved into a 427. Damn. We had a 10 bolt rear end and on leaf springs. And we went 770s. In <laughs> 775 in the quarter mile. Like that. That, that was a real big truck for us. Um, at those points, I said when Roy was driving Juan's truck towards the end, I think we went seven something also in Juan's. We went 750s too. The black one, right? We went, yeah, Roy, one. Roy was driving that truck when it went 750s. Nice. When, when he did that one, I said Juan, Juan truck also did a lot for us. There's a lot of smaller trucks, dude, that really help make us, you know. Yeah. Talk about like we talk about. It's funny the Piñata truck. I'm not sure people. It's not that popular, bro. It wasn't that fast, but that little truck was a six old with like a, a lot of grudge races with that. Four hundred <laughs> shot of HMP nitrous. on Fridays, bro. She. No, but you're not grudge races, remember? Yeah. You're not grudge oh, races. Shit. Back, we were, in the day. back then we were grudge races. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. But no, that little truck, it was six old, four hundred shot. It, it just it, it should have never ran what it ran, and it ran the number. Um, there was a couple of guys. Ten now. Yeah, the C10. C10? The, that C10 is a monster. That, honestly, right now, I went to the C10. That was that of Oh, everything. Uh, that, that, that one's a grudge racing truck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a guys. If you want a grudge race? You got the C10. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah hell uh, yeah. The C10. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. 427. The retirement is over. We're grudging. On M1, big 98 millimeter turbo, TH400. It has a actually. It only has a 84 millimeter turbo. Oh, 94 millimeter. Peter Turbo, uh, 850 cage, ladder bars with a 9-inch, suspension all the way around, coil all the way around. Nice. All steel, all glass, uh, a monster. Are running in that class or? Yeah, well, there's a, actually, actually next weekend we're going to Dallas. Okay. There's a couple of trucks that run all steel, all glass. Like they're like a little, uh, they were doing a four-truck shootout. I think now it's like a six-truck shootout. XRP or what? Ennis. Uh, Ennis. Uh, Ennis. Motorplex. Yeah, Ennis. We're going to go run up there. Uh, it's called badass. That was truck. Oh, oh yeah, Gustavo's a truck. Cyrex. Yeah, that truck's gonna be up there in yeah. Dallas. Cyrex is another truck. Oh, that that's the one that grudge race with uh, Baby King. Velocity, yeah. 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 We, won, we won one and then he lost one. Yeah. Uh we won one and we lost one. Bro, what happened on what happened at the light? Who was driving? Uh, they were. Gustavo was. His uh, his buddy. His okay, his buddy. buddies. Yeah, his buddy was driving. Um I, I, I can't speak too much on it. That, that day Flacco was tuning it. Uh-huh. At that, that day up there, Flacco. We weren't there. Yeah, we didn't we didn't we didn't go that day. You know, they, they that that truck, so Gustavo and his crew, they have their own shop in Dallas. Okay. They have their own. They do nitrous. They do cars. Yeah. Gustavo wanted to build a truck, so they bring the truck to us. We built it for them, but they run their own truck. Like, even right now, they have their truck. They set up. I mean, we set the truck up most of it, but they kind of finished it off, tweak it, fine-tune it here and there. Uh, that day, they were driving their own truck. Flocka went over there, but, but that truck itself... That truck is fast, man. That, that truck is really fast. It, it, yeah, we built a badass monster. Yeah, it, it, that, yeah. that thing is a monster, dude. It, it runs really, really good. They're grudge racers. And I, I, I talked about Gustavo. He's one of our customers that, that they're grudge racers, bro. Those guys out of Dallas are grudge racers. And and as we kind of went through the process, we kind of realized, you know, it's it's it was kind of hard. The one hard part of it um, is that they're grudge racers, and we're yeah. not. And, yeah. and, and so... They, they they take over their own program. They were doing it. They were up there in Dallas. I'm not real sure what happened. Um, I didn't really get too much details on it. I didn't really ask too much, you yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. Um, it spun at the line. It happens. You know that's, what I mean? Like, that's, a, that's another good build. Though. They both yeah. spun at the line, though. Yeah, yeah they both spun. Yeah. I, and Gustavo runs a 275. I think I think the four was on a 315. So he hooked up a little bit better. He was able to recover better. This one yeah, couldn't recover. Yeah. Think about radios. When you go radio racing... Uh, man, the prep. The thing about a radio tire, you can go really fast, but when it spins, you don't go nowhere. Yeah. So it's it's a real, real fine, fine balance of it. Trying to be killer. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but uh, no, no, yeah. So it was it was a good race. Those guys won. That's another big build we had. Let me. I gotta ask you what everybody wants to know. Okay. Talk about crawfish. Talk about the build. You know, like how was it built? Yeah. Why it messed up? 
Um, or what messed up. Yeah. What messed up. Yeah. yeah. So so I would tell everybody, um, I I know I know everybody wants to talk about crawfish. That that's the one truck that, that, that that's kind of what happened. You know what happened. Bro, you didn't have to take a drink of your Red Bull, were we? Relax, <laughs> it's relax, not a beer. Relax. I'm just. I'm a, I'm, <laughs> he's uh, like, uh, bro. I actually got to pee real. I got to repeat. He's back trying to too. pump over now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I'll say, bro, is uh, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to talk about crawfish right now. Yeah. But the way I see things is a little bit different. Um, I look at the positive. You know, we, we come together. We built one of the most iconic trucks oh, in yeah, the built, truck scene. Yeah, I built a truck that, you know, went on Hoonigans. Yeah. You know, so yeah. y'all built a bad ass yeah. truck. You know, at the end yeah. of the day, y'all yes. still built. If yes. it took a crap, whatever, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this. I'll say this. Before, before we go too much further, guys... There's a lot of things that I want to say, but but I can't. I can't. I tell people this all the time. You know, there's a lot. There's some drama. Some things were said. You know, about our shop. One of the things that I want to be clear about is, as a shop, you have customers. Yep. And the customer, you can't really say the customer's wrong, bro. I I can't go at you know and sit here and say, yep. you know, this person is this or that or whatever. I can't go after nobody. <clears throat> what I will say is is that, for us. We're very proud of what we did. We're proud of the time. It was it was such an awesome experience. The the thing to it, where I think people don't really understand. I wish I wish I wish I had my YouTube sooner. I could have more behind the scenes. Um, but we built a truck. I said earlier that that had never been done before. Yep. We did something that hadn't been done. Um, the truck started off originally as a street truck on E85 when it, it had the 427. When we put the twin turbo kit on there. Uh, it was supposed to be a street truck, and then it progressed and progressed and progressed and kind of got to where it is now. Uh, man, I, I will tell you, on my that that truck, that truck, I feel like put a lot of people on the map. Not just you know, it's one of the ones you know for us, but it put a lot of people on the map. A lot of good people came together. A lot of our buddies, you know, we got we had a lot of contacts. A lot of our buddies, you know, come through and they helped us out. Uh, Crawfish, I will say. I don't ever want to take credit it just being just past in the speed shop. At this level, I don't know if people understand, when you get to this level of racing, there's a lot more influence. We talk to a lot of people. We get advice. You go to a chassis shop, hey, bro, you listen to your chassis builder. You do what he wants to do. You go to your engine builder. You do what they want to do. You go to your fabricator. You do what they want to do. And then you go to the tuner, and the tuner does that. Um, man, dude, so, so now we're at a point where uh, – a lot of people they want to they want to see the negative and they want to talk about some negative stuff. Yeah. And I want to, bro, but but <clears throat> at the end of the day, guys, like it's 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 a in my opinion, it's a lose lose situation. Yeah. If I get on here and I say anything, one, it's my customer, it's our customer, yep. and that doesn't ever look good. But two, guys, and the more important thing is is if we say anything, let's say bad, or we take say anything, we're gonna be the haters. Yeah. And yeah. at the end of the day, guys, what I, you know, and I'll I say. I appreciate you keep, keeping it, like, professional, too. You know, and, and, yeah. and again, it's, we're not haters, bro. We're not mad at nobody. Um, I, I kind of said this a little bit off camera. Uh, I know the whole world wants to see that fight. They want to see us tear each other apart or whatever. But at yeah. the end of the day, bro, nobody wins. Yeah. Nobody wins. And, and and to me, I'm a positive, I'm a more of a positive thinker. And, and to me, what, what we were able to do when we came together, those guys on the gas, the vision, you know, Beto, Beto and those guys, dude, they have great vision. Beto's expectation, bro, are <clears throat> second to none, dude. It, it's it's his 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 he understands his fan base. He 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 that's his job. Yeah. You know, social media is their job and he understands trucks. They do a lot of show trucks, so they challenged us a lot to build a race truck and kind of make it into a show truck when it really wasn't as popular. And we tried a couple of different things along the way. Um, but, but I will tell y'all guys, to me, it's, it's, I see the positive, bro. I'm so proud of that truck. I'm so happy with that truck. Oh, yeah. The monster getting built, bro. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. What, oh, what, yeah. what, what, the, even today, bro, even what the truck is today, it's always been part of the plan. You know, it's always been the plan. Um, I, I will tell people Flacco's tuned that truck for us since day one. You know what I mean? Um, nothing's changed. We, there, there has been, and I, I will say this, YouTube Whoever controls the camera controls the narrative. Yep, that's true. So And the editing. The editing, yep. the, the cameras. And, and, again, I'm not taking no shots at nobody. It's not about taking a shot. But, but what I will say is, is they showed one perspective. Now, the perspective they show is what their fans want to see. 
Now, the one bad thing for us is we never got to show the behind the scenes of what really went into it. Guys, we killed ourselves, man. <clears throat> we killed ourselves building that truck, testing it. Like Roy said, for the first three months of Crawfish's life, they had our motor in there. Nobody knows that. The motor, they had an original motor that they had already bought um, that was already a long block. When they brought it to us, when we put it in the truck, we turned it on, we go to the track one time, and it loses oil pressure. Mm. And that's right before we're going to go to the Hoonigans. Yeah. So we scramble, we put our motor in there, you know, we run the truck for a while. Um, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that happen that, and y'all know, there's a lot of stuff that's in, even in this video. You cut stuff out, a lot of stuff gets left, not because you want to cut it out, there's not enough time for it. Not everybody yeah. cares about working till 3 in the morning. No, we don't, we don't take nothing out. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Whatever is said is said, unless you tell me, hey, yeah. cut it out, I'll cut it out. Put like an example, I'll give people an example. The other day, I made one of my videos. I posted one of our videos. Bro, it was three different days. Yeah. Two different track rentals, and, and I'm lying. Well, yeah, two different track rentals, and then a completely different day. It was so pretty much three different days, and I put it all together into one video. Yeah. And if you watch the video, you'd never know that it was three different yep, days. Yep, yep, you're you know, right. That, that's the power of the camera. You know what I'm of saying? Of editing. Of editing. Yeah. And, and so it's those guys are entertainers. Their fans want to see entertainment, and they want to show their – it's their job. It's their job to show their fans what they want to see. Now, in that, I wish there was a lot more that we could have showed on our part of it. Yeah. But we, we were not YouTube at the time. You know, yeah. we didn't really care to do it at the time. Um, but, but, guys, I'm going to tell you all, we thrashed. We worked, the times we talk about, we were crunch times. And to 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, guys, that shit was real. Let me ask you this. If you don't want to answer, it's cool. If, Roy, you don't want to answer, it's cool. I just have to ask. Mm -hmm. because people want to know, right? If you don't want to know, I mean, if you don't answer, say next question, right? Flaco touched on it too. What's up with the whole thing with the LS1 head? Yeah, and you know what? For a long time, bro, I wasn't going to address it, and I'll say this, on, on our page... If you can have badass Frankenstein LS1 heads, right? You yeah. can have badass fucking mass LS1, right? Yeah. That so, you can have. Yeah. So I will tell you this. I was never going to address it, bro. And again, it goes back to I'm not trying to be a hater. Yeah. I'm not trying to bring up no drama. Yeah. I'm not trying to start no drama with those guys or with anybody yeah. for that matter. I, and I'll be honest with you, too. I never even watched their video when I talked about the heads. Yeah. This is what I will say. I said it a minute ago. Crawfish, when it came to us, they already had a motor and it had LS1 heads on it. So when we ordered the intake for them, it was for the LS1 heads. Correct. It is not LS1 heads. Well, it's Cathedral Port heads. Cathedral yeah. Port, yeah. It's yeah, Cathedral it's not Port. Like, well, it's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. like an yeah. off-the-shelf Camaro. So, yeah, it's not like a Cathedral head. Port. Yeah. Head. Yeah. Cathedral Port. Yeah, and, and so yeah, I'm, you're right. You're right. I, I was. I, I had meant to say it too. It's it's, it's not a Cathedral, a, port, it's a cathedral yeah. port. What what I will and I'm I'm gonna say I'll say this as clear. If you know, you know. Yeah, I'll say as clear as I can. You're 100 percent right in what you said. What I will say is that's an LS1 port, but it is not an LS1 head. Yeah. It is a, and I'm going to say this, I don't even, I can't even go into detail. Well, I could go into detail, but uh, behind the scenes, all these companies, they all do little tricks. There's tricks of the trade behind the scenes and what they do and what they don't do. This last week, last week, there was a, a Mustang that went 420s in the eighth mile with the same head. Yeah. The head, it might be an LS1 port. But it's not an LS1 head. Yeah. And when you start getting to the, the deeper part of it is you look at flow numbers. That thing had bigger valves. It had upgraded valves. Yeah. It had... Well, they... That cathedral port has been tested to go yes. fast. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, they tested a bunch. Yes. And that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like it, yeah, there, there's LS1 head, right? Yeah. People say that. But it's cathedral. But yeah. cathedral... It's been tested a bunch of times. I, I was, yeah. You know what I mean? One like, of the things that I will say, and this is where it's the levels of understanding of people. If you know about racing, okay, and, and I'm going to tell you this. On the internet, people try to laugh at us. Oh, LS1 heads, LS1 heads. But it's funny because on the racing world, everybody on our side, they laugh at the guys that are, if you're on my post la calling, laughing at me about LS1 heads, yeah. you're letting us know that you don't know nothing about racing and you don't know anything about heads. Yeah. That's and so it's 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 just people's understanding of parts. Yeah. You know, and, and, and there was a comment. I'll, I'll address one thing. You know that oh, people say, oh, that we scam because Beto said he didn't know what he had. Bro, he don't know nothing of what he had. He don't know nothing of what he had in any of his parts. Yeah. 
Because we were the experts and we're the ones that made the phone calls. We're the ones that talked to the people. We already had. But that's many shops though. Oh, absolutely. Like you drop your truck off, you a turnkey, right? Yeah, a turnkey oh, for shop. Sure. For sure. They're not going to know if this has a freaking what size valve it has. Uh, like what rocker, what, what ratio on the has. rocker. They're yeah. not because they want their truck to run sevens. They want their truck to be the fastest, right? Yes. Bro, they're not going to know every part on the truck. And, and you know what I will say? Well, and, and that's what that's why the customer takes it to the shop because you trust exactly. the shop. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll leave it in your hands Yeah. because I trust you. Yeah. And let's not forget, guys, that uh, Crawfish also went 151 mile per hour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is where I'm going to tell you, like, I will say it's funny to us because, and I tell you guys, man, the, the when you start getting to this level, I think I told somebody, hey, bro, the Rockets, they don't go ask their fans, hey, what should we do? The, the Astros don't go ask their fans, what should we do? So as a shop, I'm not going to go on the internet and ask these fans what we should do. But what I will tell you is that people, there, there's, 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 it's, it's like a double standard. It's funny because it's like a double standard. The same people that are going to go on the internet and laugh at us about LS1 heads, they're the same ones that were on our post talking about like, oh, Crawfish made the fastest pass at the shootout. Yeah. And, and it's the truth. At the shootout, the fastest pass of all the trucks was Crawfish with LS1 heads. So, and the Hoonigan. And the Hoonigan's race. And the Hoonigan race. And, and so it's... it's I tell people, man, and I'm going to say something. This is the one thing that I will give you on top of it. Um, I'll tell this to the people that are haters. They're haters out there. In my opinion, they're haters. But, but no, one of the things that, so, so a couple of things I want to be clear about is, is, guys, we have nothing to hide. We have absolutely nothing to hide. We avoid it for the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things. Um, but, but the one thing that I said, I'll say to the haters, to the haters out there, you know, the the. The best thing y'all ever did was make a post on Pasadena Speed Shop's comment. Post. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the most important thing you've done. You know what I'm saying? They boost the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you boost the <laughs> algorithm. Thank you for boosting my algorithm. <laughs> yeah. But, but what I will say, and I'll tell you, bro, I don't, I'm not a cocky person. I'm confident I'm not cocky, but the, the facts are the facts. The fact is, is again, today, September 15, 2023, to this point, what the world knows about crawfish. A la madre. Yeah. What the world knows about crawfish to this point is what Pasadena Speed Shop did for crawfish. Yeah. It's what we did. Now, again, again. Flaco has been a big part of it from the beginning. So, and I must make sure, I want to make sure I make this point clear. Flaco's a bad dude. When that truck comes out, they're going to be fast. They're going to be fast. I do not, I want to take anything away from them. And it's not even taking a shot at those guys. It's more all the little cheerleaders on the side about us or make comments about us when they don't know the facts. And we don't say nothing, not because we're hiding anything or because we're scared. Yeah. It's because we understand the bigger picture. We understand the business. At the end of the day, you guys know yourselves. I tell this, I tell people this, hey bro, on the gas didn't go to your shop. They came to my shop. <laughs> and on the gas, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you this, on the gas yeah. knows, hey bro, I, hey, we're grown as men. I take it on the chin, bro. Whatever they said about me, I take it on the chin because that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. That's what I'm supposed to do, bro. Yeah. As a business owner, as a shop, when you're professional, you're at this level, when you build at this level, hey bro, this is there's drama in racing since the beginning of time. People moving, I started shops. racing. Yeah, changing shops, going back and forth, all yeah. this. That's all part of it. So yeah. I'm not. There's nothing to hide. We got nothing, you know, to to hang our hat. Hey, bro, you're gonna always see me smiling. Yeah. And again, I tell you, if I had anything to hide, you yeah, would come on a podcast. Yeah. And put myself, expose ourselves to the world. I got nothing to hide, bro. We got absolutely nothing to hide. I wish those guys nothing but the best. I've said it, nice. and I'll say it again. Nice. Anything crawfish does. For the life of it, started at Pasadena Speed Shop. Ooh. And I'm proud of that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of that motherfucker. Yeah. Amen. I'm proud of that shit. And you know what? I'm going to die proud of that motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm cool with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and again. Are we die proud of all our bills. Yeah, all yeah. of our Yeah, all, all the bills. All, all the bills, yeah. Them. What, what we did and because even. All our bills, we treat them like they were personal, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it's it's when you, what what was done, what, and that's a, like the messed up part. What was done in those two years? With us and them, bro, it'll never be duplicated again. Yeah. I promise you, it'll never be duplicated again. The did. amount of bills, the amount of trucks, the records, the times, the traveling, the hype. I said the Hoonigans or this or the no preparation. PRI. PRI, going to PRI for the first time. Like Damn. You guys literally made history for the did. truck racing with scene. The truck, with, yeah. with the trucks. Well, the, you truck, know. the truck did a lot of shit. And, and it's, it's funny because, like, you, we go talk to people and... and, and I don't, I don't ever want to discredit the fans. I don't want y'all to feel like I don't care about what y'all think or what y'all feel. 
I do. But y'all don't know everything. Y'all yeah. don't know half the facts. Y'all know one side of the story. Yeah. And, and for us, because I don't want to go to war with those guys. I don't want to get into a back and forth with them or anybody else. Yeah. We are focused on us. Yep. We did not get to this point in our business. You don't make it five years in business. You don't set this many records. You don't make this much horsepower worried about what everybody else says. Yeah. You do. You, and it's advice to anybody out there. You want to build your shop. You want to be, the, you want to be better than Pasadena Speed Shop one day. Focus on you. Don't worry about anybody else or trying to make anybody else happy. That's it real. sucks. Yeah. It sucks. The, the drama, the negativity, they left and now it's like a cloud over it. And, and we got to be here. And again, instead of, you know, the podcast, and I get it. Everybody wants to know this stuff. I never care to address it. At the end of the day, guys, we are blessed. Yeah. We are very fortunate. We have lots of work. All my builds are repeat customers or referrals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if I was half of what they said I was or whatever, bro, we wouldn't be here, bro. Yeah. You, anyone that knows racing, that knows this culture, that knows shops, hey, bro, shops come and go every single day, bro. Well, you know what they say, right? No. 90% of businesses fail, small businesses fail in the first year. Yep. I've heard So, that. like, Just like a congratulations, you know what oh, I mean? Thank you, like, thank you. And, and I'll tell y'all, man, and... and me and Roy, it's been a hard road. It's been hard. It's been hard, man. It's been rough. It, going through those things it's took been a hard and also a crazy adventure. How do y'all feel now? Y'all went through a lot, sweat, maybe tears, money, time. How do y'all feel now that y'all have a shop? Y'all got builds. Y'all got crazy work. Y'all doing what y'all love. Y'all doing everything. You know what I mean? Like, how do y'all feel inside? You. Adrian and then Roy. Yeah, uh, man, bro, I'm proud, bro. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, um, I can't stop being proud of us. I said it earlier in the in the podcast. We're just a couple of dumb Mexicans, and that's the truth of it, bro. Yeah. I graduated Pasadena High School, class of 2005. Never took a, a mechanic class. Never took an auto body class. Never took none of that stuff. Roy graduated 06. 06. 06. We're from here, bro. We're from the hood. Yeah. Trucks. Hey, nigga, I'm not from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Compare you more in the Southeast or what? Not all Pasadena. Compare you in high school too. You barely even speak English, dog. Shut up. But we, I'm a Raven kid. Like I tell y'all, guys, like, and the one thing that I want more than anything, it's, 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 guys. We come from the same place. We all started at the same place. Ooh, you know, that's what it's called, Pasadena Speed Shop. That's what it's called, Pasadena Speed Shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always told Roy, Pasadena's always been known for their trucks. Now, we we are fortunate, bro. We get to travel the world. We get to race against some of the best of the best. We get to be out there talking, rubbing elbows with Ryan Martin or Murder Nova or, you know, I mean, it's, it's Sean. We met we met Big Chief. Boosted GT. You know, we went to New yeah. Orleans, you know, with those guys. And, and yeah, the Boosted. And even again, Flacco. Being cool people like Flacco. You know, yeah. it's it's some of these guys, dude. We And I promise y'all, I promise y'all, the truck scene never was supposed to go this far. It was never supposed to go this far, bro. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't. And, dude, I can't – I'm proud, bro. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of Roy. I'm proud of the guys, our guys, man. I, a big shout-out to our guys. It's a big they, team, bro. It's a team. Big team, yeah. It's a team. And I've without always a, said – Without a team, you won't get nowhere. Yeah. I don't need no credit for me, bro. Um, I, I do want to give a shout-out to all the people that have supported us, all the people that have helped us out, that have been in our corner since day one. We have a lot of the same shops, the same people what about, still in our corner. What about los compadres ahí que están en la cárcel, compadre? Oh, shout out. That pinche penitencia. Yeah, shout out to all my boys out in Beaumont <laughs> on vacation right now. A few of them on vacation, but they're some of my day ones, bro. Yeah. We got oh, some day don't, one don't, people. Day one. We got Man. some day one people that are behind us and support us and yeah. push us. And, and I promise you, like, You're welcome. Pe people, people, <laughs> people think that, oh, we're scared. And I'll tell you, like, oh, we're new to racing. Or, bro, we've been, we've been racing against people for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, and again, you know, you've seen Roy yeah. back then. And I was yeah. there. I was there. He'll tell you. No, I never seen you, eh? Yeah, but I was quiet. I'm just laughing. <laughs> no, but he will tell you. I was, like, <laughs> I was quiet. Yeah. I was quiet, So bro. what made you, like, talk a lot? Oh, when we opened the No, I'm just laughing. Like, Confidence. Hey, Roy, so tell, tell us about how do you feel? He already didn't talk for me. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Same shit. Well, man, okay, okay so what are we talking about? Uh, ask the question again. You, oh, yeah, ask the question. How do you feel about the shop? Like, you you know, you come so far. You put, a money, you put money, your time, sweat, tears, maybe. I don't know. Some blood. But maybe some blood, you know. I mean, when we started this, I've always done racing for a while, but I never took it 
as a business. It always was more like a hobby. Yeah. Because I worked in the refineries back and forth, and then I, this took be my career. And five years later, we've done a lot, bro. I didn't think we could make it this far, and we're going to keep going. We ain't going to stop. We're going to go for that five-second pass, I'm telling you right now. And the brownie? And the brown. Ooh. Starting to get ready. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That's, that's the one thing that we are very excited about is our future, bro. Yeah. Our future, five, six-second builds in the process right now. Yeah. yeah that's a lot. Um, and that's yeah, yeah, there is a lot. Yeah, five, se six. Five, six-second packages getting built right now. Damn. Five. They ain't five. messing around. Oh, we damn, dog, we count. talk about that there's levels. <laughs> like, and I, I thought you, we did three. You make it look like six seconds is easy. What it, the it, fuck? It, well, <laughs> and that's they probably do far more. Yeah. Uh, uh, nah, nah, we're very fortunate, bro. We're lucky, Our bro. Our customers, they support us 100. percent Yeah. And without them, bro, we're nothing. That's why I go back to like some of the drama. I can't, I can't take no shots to my customers, bro. And I will say, we're not perfect, guys. Yeah. We've made plenty of mistakes. We've learned, we've banged our head, we've fought each other, we've argued with each other, you know, we've made mistakes. It costs us a lot of money. We've spent and a lot of money and time. You do Tears not. Tears too, bro, trust me. You, you do I'm not. not you do first, not bro. get to no, this no, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. hard, bro. Let's be real. Late nights. Family problems, you know, like it, it's. Headaches. Dude, we have been 200% committed to this shop and committed to the trucks um, and and I, I feel like we're fortunate, bro, that we're the one thing that I feel like we're most fortunate is like, bro, the whole world got to see. Yeah. You know, we did it. A lot of people do it, bro. And I, I, there's a lot of people out there, bro, that have shops that outwork us, that have regular jobs. Go a guy around the corner from my house, bro. He works every day. Shout out to this dude, bro. He works has a service truck. I don't know. Maybe he does AC. He comes home and he works on Dodges, the little, the little SRTs. I see him. At his house, after hours, all night, on weekends. Damn. And I see that, and that inspires me. Is bro, we're fortunate, bro. Yeah. We're blessed. We're so fucking blessed, Don't dude. Don't stop the hustle. Just and, hustle. And, and it's, it's, that's why, like, to me, like, some of the negativity, some of the drama, some of the back and forth. Hey, bro, like, if you think that it scares us, if you think that we're, we're, we're intimidated, if you yeah. think, nah, bro, we, we, we're doing what we love to do, bro. Talk about the giveaway. Talk about the bit of the giveaway. When is, it, yeah. when is it ending? Uh, I hope this video comes out before October 1st. Okay. Is the deadline for our first giveaway. It's our first giveaway. It ain't uh, our last. It ain't the last. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about what's done to it. Yeah, um, so, so. Front to back. You want to talk about it or me? You go, man. Okay. I mean, we can talk okay. about it, man. Yeah. Okay, so Savage is our first giveaway that we're doing right now. It's a 2001. 2003. 2003 GMC. Stock bottom in 5.3. The only thing stuck about the truck is a, is a, fi is a 5. It's a Gen it's, 4. Gen 4, 5.3. Um, it has a, a single turbo, 80 millimeter turbo, 80 uh, FI, four yeah. productions, four lady conversion, circle D, billet converter. Uh, it has uh, posi gears, it has the drag pack, it has the three pumps inside of the fuel system, two 10 injectors. It's our 900 horsepower package, yeah. Ni our 900 horsepower package, it's on ter Holly Terminator controlling it. Nice. it, has a system, you could get anything and drive it wherever you want, custom fiberglass hood. Actually, the hood, I think, is custom as hell. Uh, <laughs> it's made for a Chevy, but it got modified to fit the GMC. Oh. They don't make that cow hood for GMC. Nobody makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was modified to fit it. Um, and, and, and somebody is going to take home a badass truck. You can AC? drive it. AC. Damn. And heater? a system. Heater? I don't know about a heater, bro. We live in Texas. We live in Texas. Damn heater. I don't know about the heater. I don't know about it. snowed two years ago, bro. Yeah, yeah but I mean, first of all, you're not gonna use an 900 horsepower truck in snow. We are gonna, we are gonna give it away turned down. I said that earlier. We're gonna give it away turned down, but it does have the option of being turned up. Nice. And really, really, if you put a built motor in there, you could probably push it. You could probably push to a thousand horsepower, mm. and, and just with a better motor. Or it was so, pushing like 1100 when it had a 62. Damn. Or you can win the fifteen thousand dollars cash. Damn. Ooh. What is it? So let's say if somebody wants to build that exact same truck setup. What would it cost? Now we're gonna go into like the the layout of the shop. You know, you, so, you, he so said 900 horsepower package. What does it cost? One of the things that we believe in is overbuilding. That, that's just one of our principles in life. And when you have a shop, if you break, it makes you look bad. So we overbuild. That that truck is a little bit overbuilt. But if you come to our shop and you want a savage package, it's about thirty thousand dollars. If you come, you bring the truck with the stock bottom and motor. And we'll do everything to it about thirty thousand mm. to get you to that. that point nice. Right yeah. And like what a, what would it run at the at the eighth? And the eighth mile about, turned up about six oh. Yeah, six, six oh six twenties, depending on the driver. Yeah. 
quarter mile, so 950 to 10 0. They can compete in the 590 class. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, well, oh, no. That, that truck was built for the 650 class. Yeah. Oh, okay. We run. So we turn it down to run the 650. Yeah. Uh, and nice. also, you turn it down all the way down and it'll run the 750s also. Oh, yeah, on Wastegate. It's a little bit faster, but you can just let it off and you kind of coast. 7 0. Yeah, we can run class? Yeah. from 750 from 750 all the way to 60. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Adrian was driving and he red lit, but no one no one asked about me red lighting. Bro. Yeah. Hey, remember you got hey, stuck you know, at the line. You know why I drive? Yeah. <laughs> you what got about? gap. You got gap by Russell. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> oh, so he started the beef. Yeah. He started the beef. He's the one that started. Oh, he started. Hey. The beef. I gotta finish it. He started it with me. Hey, so let me ask you this: What are the packages you offer? I mean, y'all offer crazy bills, right? Yeah. So, so we, we can start off anything from a cam kit to a refresh all the way up into the five-second package um, and everything in between. Right now, we are and actually... Five-second package already? You said fives, bitch. Well, okay, we got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are actually working right now um, on our... I was come up with some packages for the shop. Uh, we're like a 700 horsepower package, uh, 800 or 900 horsepower. We got you. Package. We got the little brother package. It was oh, uh, my little, 550, oh, 650. Yeah. So we did. Have my, so I, I did one for my little brother. It's a little bit less of a build. It's not quite the savage to that caliber. It's like fifteen thousand dollars, and it's 700 horsepower package. No, no, 500 to 650. Oh, my bad. Okay. Just get the Just numbers the right. Get the numbers right, because then they're gonna be like, "Hey, I said this." Call it the 650 horsepower package. Yeah, it's our 600. So we start off with the 650 horsepower package. And it's 15,000. It's about 15,000 okay. dollars for the full package. And that is on what truck? On a uh, that's a any 99, 99 to 06. Nah, you could do it all the way to 2013. 2013, okay. Because yeah, after that, is the LT came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from 2013 to 99. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, like do like. We have a C10 behind you that people can see. It was a street truck. Now it's a race truck, yeah. full-blown race truck. Behind me, you see this SS single turbo. Sick paint. Sick-ass truck, SS clone. And then on this side, too, we got another. That's a 1,300 horsepower OBS. Drive it anywhere with AC Damn. and everything it's going to have. And that one got restored from, from yeah, the that's, ground that's up. A, that's, a, that's a frame off paint job. Oh, damn. Yeah, nice. All brand new suspension, brand new fuel. Nice. Br everything's going to be brand new on that Interior, truck. Interior, everything. Yeah, nice. we're going to get it painted. We're going to do the whole package on there. So street trucks, race trucks, even in your daily drivers, cam kits, motor refreshes, transmission, suspension, anything on trucks, bro. Like, and that's they, what we do. Y'all engine builders. Y'all have certain companies for engine builders. Y'all go, yeah. you know, they, there's, you know, LME. Yes, yes. Uh, several. Uh, we have a lot of engine builders, guys. Uh, it's a lot of volume that we go through. But just like we do with our tuning, we kind of have a couple of people that... And, and what we kind of do is we kind of build a motor with the guy. If it works really good, okay, this, you're going to build this motor for us this way. Yeah. I'll go to maybe a different guy. But we have anything from, from stock bottom end rebuilds all the way up to 3,000 horsepower LS motors. Um, and any, any, like, specific shops you want to, like, give a shout-out to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to give a shout-out to uh, Rick's Machine Shop. They're the ones that built the motor for Gremlin and built a couple other motors for us. Uh, that motor ran real good. Uh, Nizer, Nizer Racing, something. He's the one that built our, our Durley's motor and a couple of those. Nice. And I also want to give a shout out to Oches, Gary Oches out of Dallas. Also built some badass motors. He built the one for Crawfish. Yeah, he built Crawfish's motor, nice. Oches. And uh, we also got a guy, uh, what's the guy in Chicago? Um, Fast Times. Fast Times in Chicago is another engine builder of ours. Oh, we can't forget about G&G. Joe at G&G. Joe at G&G, another engine builder nice. of ours, built some badass motors. So when I tell you guys that we got, we just, it's so many builds that we're doing yeah. that nobody can keep up one person. So we had to spread it around all yeah, over yeah, the yeah. place. But um, we got Jeff, Houston Engine Balance. Oh, Jeff, Houston Engine Our Balance. Yeah, it does a lot of stuff for you're in for a us. bind, you call him, he'll get you <laughs> in and out. What about your trends? Who does our trends mostly? <clears throat> uh, we got like, a couple like different the, Like the four lady stuff is all either done by Gonzalez Transmission. We also got Tavo, another buddy of ours that builds them. Which we have we have transmissions from everyone. Yeah. So what it, about like a turbo four hundred built? That's either Rossler, M and M, okay, M &M, FTI. It just depends a lot of yeah, companies. It depends yeah, yeah. a lot, bro. And and a lot of it too. Like and I will say this. Like it, for us, part of building it is also who has it available. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, there's a couple people that build transmissions, and they're all the same. And parts, it's all bro. of the budget too, bro. Because you're yeah. gonna you're gonna spend twelve to thirteen k on M and M. Well, the customer might not need that. Yeah. So they go to Rossler. Rossler's about between five to eight grand. And then you get a local guy here, probably spend two grand or four grand. It's just, mm. it all depends on the budget. Yeah. 
yeah. and for what you're doing. If you're building something for a thousand horsepower, well then you don't need a thirteen thousand dollar transmission. Albert from Rick's machine, he built a Gremlins motor. Yeah, damn nice, real good motor. Yeah, and I, I tell you, man, we have so much support, man. Like it's hard. Like there's a lot of I could, I a could lot be, of companies, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never, never, we'll never finish naming them. Yeah, and without them, we don't do this. Real talk. If y'all want to know who the real, well, I say that my our mechanics. They do a good job, but, man, we have a lot of support, man. We really, really do. Family and mechanics. And how many um, how many mechanics y'all have here? Uh, three. three. Three mechanics three. on top right. of me and Roy. Um, Roy's a mechanic? Mm, used to be. Ah, retired. Dang. He's just a manager. To, retired. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, what I have uh, he's, he's one of the guys that work when I'm at the track. Yeah, he's ass backwards. <laughs> I always tell him he's ass backwards. No, no, yeah. When we have to. When we have to, we yeah. both get in there and do what we got to do. Um, fortunately, we've... And now that's it. Now it's he's so busy ordering parts, talking to customers, doing this, doing that. I'm so busy with the with the with the social media side of it. Yeah, the guys Welcome, it talks. I like it. Hey, right? <laughs> hey, what do you think about the Fords? The four by fours. You know they have, they're running, they're competing with. You know. Yeah. They're competing hard, right? Uh, what? So, but they're on stock ECU, stock frame, Caltrax. Mm -hmm. What is your like? What do you think? So and I, I want to know what yeah so Roy thinks too. so and, and I wish I don't know how much time I want to go into a little bit on something. Uh, one of the things I had a Ford. I'm not sure I sold it. My F150, 2017 F150. Um, one thing people don't know is that Vass, the guy that makes the suspension for the Ford trucks, he designed the kit on my truck. I was the very first truck that got dropped with a suspension, and also in shout 2000. Out to Vic. Yeah, shout out to my boy Vic. And also in 2019, I had a set of twin turbos for my truck, and we have some emails with Lun. At the time, when we asked Lund about tuning my truck, he's like, hey, guys, I don't, I haven't tuned any NA trucks, and we don't see a reason to tune NA trucks. Damn. Um, and so that's how far back we go with it. Um, what I will tell you is that Fords, bro, and I tell people this. Well, we're racing. LSs were designed in 98, 99, 2000. The trucks that we have were 2000s. What we're racing against is the latest and greatest of what Ford has to offer. Yep. The modern technology you know, the trials and, and stuff like that. So the motors are fucking badass. They're super efficient motors. Trans. The four valves, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. The 10-speed transmissions are ridiculous. One of the things that Ford does, and I, I say Chevy fucked up. They, with the direct <laughs> injection, when they went LT, bro, they ruined it. But what did Ford do? Ford has direct injection and they have port injection. They have, let's talk about the stock ECU. They could pull timing. You know, they have wide bands, corrections built into it. So it's, dude, we have the latest and greatest of what the Ford Motor Company can build. Wow. And, and I will give the, the, the frame, I go back to it. You got a, a boxed frame, a boxed in frame with an all aluminum body, aluminum blocks, aluminum suspension. So it's, it's a lot of that. Now, I will say this. I will say, I, I will say this. As much as, well, I'll say this. Um, Apart from all that, Ford built a badass platform, but you have to give those guys credit. Because those two guys here local, they are fast. They're the only guys doing it at that level. Um, what two guys? Uh, Manuel and Russell. Okay, yeah. You know, those, those two guys have pushed the Fords further than anybody ever expected. I want to give those guys, they deserve their credit, bro. Yeah. And I, I said it earlier, I, I, I'm not a hater on nobody. I don't hate nobody, bro. I give credit where credit is due. I'm a truck purist. I understand. And to a lot of people, they view it as it's that we have the advantage. But in my, and yeah, we kind of do. We, we kind of do. But we're not racing against no 2001 Ford trucks. <laughs> Go bring a 2001 Ford <laughs> F1. The lightnings, the lightnings. Go bring them lightnings, lightnings out yeah. here. <laughs> and and, and 5.4 liter Ford, yeah. we're not racing against those guys, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're racing against the latest and greatest, so the trucks are badass, bro. I mean, I, 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 do. I remember, I remember when Vic was building kits and lower kits. I went to a shop. This was years ago, and I was like, "Why are you building that for, bro?" And he's like, "No, I'm gonna drop a Ford." And I'm like, "What the?" Like in my mind, right? I'm Chevy, mm -hmm. like Chevy, and I'm like, "Man, you know, like whatever, you know." I didn't think nothing. It was gonna be big, and then boom! Yep. Now you got running. Yeah. You know, and I, Evans is, fuck. I, yeah. I wish I wish we had more time to play with them. Uh, and, and we would love to play with the Fords, like get into that, into that, into that world. I mean, they're, they're badass trucks. I mean, I'm not yeah. gonna take anything from them. The only thing is our customer base, dude. We're just so booked with the Chevy stuff yeah. that we don't have time for it, man. What about you? What do you what do you think? Shit, I don't got nothing to say. <laughs> he said oh, it all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let me ask you this. What makes 
the LS motor, because y'all are y'all are the Chevy heavy hitters in Texas or mm -hmm. the country. Yeah, you said the, the world, the world. Crazy. Damn, he said the world. The okay, world. so uh, damn. Well, no, all right. the trucks, the trucks. All right, the trucks, the Chevy trucks, heavy hitters, right? Mm -hmm. What makes the LS so great? Because you can slap it in any freaking thing, right? Mm -hmm. The LS swaps came, you know, maybe five, what, six years ago. LS, yeah. They started L swap yeah. in the world. Yeah. That's what they say. Wait, yeah, I think before that, but so yeah, what, makes the great, what makes them great? Uh, I, I think the durability of them, the, the, they're, they're durable, bro. And I, I, they, are, they are mules. You could put some power to those things, um, and they handle a lot. I, I think one of the big advantages of the LS is, is also they're, inter, they're interchangeable. Anything from a 5.3 all the way to a 7.0, a lot of the parts are interchangeable. You know what I mean? So you can get LS1 heads and put it on a 4.27 without a problem. Um, and, and I just feel like it's, it's just... The, the volume, bro. There's just so many people out there running Chevys. And I, I just, the R&D. The, the R&D yeah. on the Chevys. There's parts for everything. Yeah. There's a billion parts for an LS. Yeah. Yeah. Different ways to do it. Yeah. yeah. So. Because th that's like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's been said, but, it, you know, we're on the podcast now, whatever. Yeah. But they, else, like they say, LS swap the world. Hmm. LS swap every car, you know? Yeah. And it's like, now they have harnesses, like, Crazy. Oh yeah, you oh, know what a I lot mean? of companies that make a lot of stuff from. Yeah. It's just now it's there's a everything. lot of parts out there for LS. I, I think yeah. one of the advantages, one of the big advantages the LS does have, I feel like over the Coyotes is the amount of cubic inches you can go. You're on a, on a Coyote, you're limited. I think like 300 and like, I don't remember the size, but like a 5.2 block. 5.2 is the biggest you can go on a Coyote motor. Well, you can go all the way to a 7.0 or even bigger now on the LS. So I, I displacement, you know, it's just a lot more displacement, and you can make more power. Um, but don't don't get it full, man. Them, them coyotes, their heads on a coyote, even though the, the huge, it, it's just, it flows with a with a LS seven flows. Yeah. yeah, one head flows with both LS heads. Yeah, flow. And it's all. And I'll tell people the secret is is all in the head, bro. Yeah. All the power is made in the head. Yeah. The bottom end is along for the ride. So uh, and I'll tell you, man, there's just the amount of companies. You got so many companies making LS. With their own data, their own information. So I just it's just the amount of people running the LSs that I think separate it. Nice. What about the LTs? <clears throat> the new LTs. Last stuff? question. The new LTs. Man. They're tricky, man. It, it, it's I, I tell you, Chevy really Chevy really went backwards. They went backwards, man. They made it <laughs> you know, they, they don't, and they're still going backwards. The, yeah, the yeah. C8s, the C eights, you can't even tune the transmissions on some of these new deals. Yeah. They came I, out with it now. They just uh -oh. released it not that long uh -oh. ago. Yeah, but, but it's the LT is getting more popular and popular now that the more part, more parts are coming out. Yeah. It's just they're slowly they're just behind big time, bro. Yeah, it's just not much. It's not really cost effective when you compare. You go to the machine shop, you go look at the price of an LS, you look at the price of an LT. Yeah, fuck you, give me that. Remember like a couple of years back, the Dodge. There was nothing you could do with the Dodge. Yeah, yeah. That's the LT now. Yeah, they just they went backwards, bro. Yeah. The fuel they, they like fell on their face. They yeah, just, the LT platform just it was trash. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's getting better. Yeah, as we're going, cause there's the LS is getting older and older and older. I mean, what you're what they stopped making the LS in 2013. So ten years. That's ten years ago. Yeah, you they stopped making the 4080 transmission in 06. No, it, I think it, yeah, 06, 07. They yeah. stopped making it. So think about it. Yeah. Where are you gonna of, get these things from now? It's a lot of years to cook, man. Yeah. Start buying trans and freaking motors yeah. and let them just sit. Of course. Uh, I, 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 I do. <laughs> I do think that eventually, when the LT stuff kind of gets figured out, it, it does have some. It's gonna be the next big thing, bro. It has yeah. to be. Yeah. I mean, you just can't get stuck in the old ways. You're gonna have to keep yeah. going. Yeah. 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 But it's not gonna be anytime soon, bro. Yeah. It's it's right now. <laughs> no, not right now. Yeah. Right now, it's a LS and a Coyote game right now, bro. Yeah. So. That's well, what you see. That's what you see. Guys, thank y'all. For letting us in, you know, nice shop. It has AC. Yeah. AC. Hey, AC shop yeah. comfortably here, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know, man, this was, this was a crazy podcast, nice podcast, you know. This probably be one of our biggest podcasts, right? 100%. And we're in Pasadena. Man, it feels great, you know. What do y'all got to say? What, are, what do y'all want to say to your, you know, your supporters? supporters. Um, everybody who's watching y'all, the haters, stuff. maybe the haters. No, no, man. The one thing that I, I uh, and I, I think I'll speak for the both of us is, you know, we really want to thank everybody for the love, for the support. Thank y'all for coming out, guys. We we are extremely grateful. We're we're grateful for what we've done, for the opportunity that we have. We do not take this life for granted. Um, and kind of like I said earlier, uh, I talk to a lot of people, man, that have shops. And, and, and out there that are putting the work in that maybe you're not blowing up quite as big as we have or whatever. Um, but I just tell y'all, guys, stick to it, man. Stick to it. 
We don't have nobody backing us up. Ain't nobody giving us money. Ain't nobody giving us business advice. We didn't have nothing. We put the work in. We grinded our asses off. And we we willed this. And, and what I want, what we want more than anything, what we hope is that there's little kids out there. There's little Adrians, little Roy's, <laughs> little little Cielos out there. You know, <laughs> that, that, that I want people to know, guys, that this is possible. Yeah. What we've done... However big you think we are or however dumb you think we are, whatever you think of me, it's cool with me. I don't well, – that's one thing. What you think of me doesn't really bother us. Yeah. You know, but but more than anything, what we want them to know is, is, guys, we're some dudes from the hood. We went to school here. We grew up here. We made lots of mistakes, but we stuck with it. We never gave up. And if you keep at it, guys, we're chasing our dreams. We're living our dreams, man. Ooh, nice. We're living our dreams, bro. Like, Boom. real talk, real talk. Let's yeah, just – Yeah, yeah, We – in 2005, when I fucking graduated, <laughs> I never thought in 2020, 20, in 2023, yeah. we'd be sitting in our shop with some of the baddest trucks around, yeah. AC shop, chilling, doing a podcast, yeah. bro. Or us being on Street Outlaws, racing with Ooh. Fireball, yeah, or yeah. going to PRI, going to the Hoonigans. Like, none of this stuff we ever dreamed of. But, guys, we're living the life, man. We're fucking oh, living man. it. We're oh. loving it. We have a passion for what we do. Uh, we believe in what we do, man. Um, but are and, they outside and they stay inside, buddy? Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. And, and out there, man, I tell y'all, like, hey, dude, if you if you hate, I, I love what Deion Sanders said. Uh, this will go to the haters. Now, my boy Deion Sanders says, what about me makes you think I care about what your opinion of me is? Fire. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Let's get it on. I didn't get us here. And y'all definitely ain't gonna stop us from where we're going. Damn. I did. Damn. I did. I did. <laughs> oh, for real, dude. I mean, it's, it's, and I tell y'all guys, there's always gonna be haters, man. Yeah, yeah. All the people try to shit on your dreams, trying to piss on you. You can do all the good, they're still gonna hate on you, but bro, keep it going, man. Yeah. And keep all that outside noise out and uh, chase your dreams, guys, because we're proof. Boom. He talked for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> the whole po- hey, the whole podcast. He talked for both talking of us. about, bro. He's <laughs> really my left nut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm good, bro. I'm All good. Right, like, hey, right. like I said, appreciate y'all again. Ociel. Right, like I said, appreciate y'all so much, man. Show us love. Everybody that's here, hey. brother. Okay, guys. Make sure you check out Pastina Speed Shop. YouTube. Um... Take out his Instagram. Are you? Are you, do you have yeah, TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Pasadena Speed Shop on YouTube. Pasadena Speed Shop on TikTok. Pasadena Speed Shop on Instagram. Pasadena Speed Shop dot com. Pasadena Speed Shop everywhere. 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 <laughs> yeah. Go and get entered for the giveaway. Yes. It's com- the deadline's coming up. Go and get entered. Make sure you check out Ociel underscore Team Billet on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, he has he's been slacking and started Facebook again. So, again. but it's all right again. Check out Go Hard Podcast on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, you can hear the full audio on Spotify and Apple. Guys, thank you so much again. Here goes another banger podcast. Amazing night, everybody. Peace, 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 peace. Yes, sir. Woo!